Boom. Welcome back to the RTM Podcast Show, Season 2, Episode 4. You already know, Big Bad Spray, Young Spray. Yeah, as usual, with my co-host, with the mo host, you get me? (laughs) (laughs) Come on. And today's special guest is my brother, James Ellerton, athlete. I'm going to let him um, introduce himself. Um, I'm going to let you introduce yourself now, just let them know. Mm. Who you are? Obviously, I know who you are. So, mm. yeah, so I'm James. James Ellerton, British sprinter. Um, been to two Olympics now, 2012, 2016. Born and raised in Lewisham, South London. All right, stop. I'm sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> let, let me get. Yeah, I just wanted you to just let them know who you are quickly. I'm gonna get back into my. Oh, of it, yeah, yeah I, mean. I need to get into my interviewing interviewing mode. <laughs> And sorry about smoking. Mm. Obviously, he's an athlete. I asked him before, just in case you lot think I'm going mad. And I said, oh, Cream's going to be upset, you know. I tried to put it on Cream, yeah. Didn't so I was like, oh, <laughs> you're an athlete, so we're not going to be able to smoke. He's like, no, man, you can smoke, man. I'm like, I'm a ganja, ganja, man. <laughs> so, yeah. So just think about who you're picking for the next um, Olympics, yeah? Mm. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but, um, no, nah, thanks for... Um, yeah, welcome. Thanks for still rocking with us, man. It's been been a mad one still obviously it's good to be back in my normal surroundings i'm a creature of habit thanks for everyone that's still here since the last time um obviously you might not know um like the person that films it everything the um he, he when he was ill he told me i had covid at first you get around so i was like covid get to work and then then he phoned and said um, he was in hospital. He, he was in, he had a stroke anyway. Yeah, cut a long story short. So if we didn't find somewhere else to do it, there would have been no show for like two months. So yeah, we had to um, we had to find somewhere. And we thought when we did find that place, we thought you know what we could do a whole season here eh? mm-hmm. because you know it's new settings, everything, and you know we bring we tried to bring what we bring. Exactly. You know what I mean? But. Sometimes the energy is just not right, you know. And I've got a lot. I've got respect for the um, the owner or whatever. You know, he's sweet and all that. But yeah, now some of his stuff is one of his stuff. But anyway, we move. Um, welcome back, James. Good to see you, my brother. I ain't seen this guy since Dubai, mm. like a year ago. Um, but yeah, you've been watching the show. Yeah, I've been watching regular. Bro. You've been promoting yeah, over yeah, Dubai. Yeah, I've been, I've been promoting it. I've been telling them. All right, yeah. so you know, you know how we do our thing. We just need a little background story, mm. obviously, because I've noticed, like, even like with the Farron thing, when we had Farron, someone's in the in the like, what are you doing with these people? Get some people mm. you know and all that. Like they don't realize, yeah, my soul is not totally about. I'm not thinking, oh yeah, who's got the most followers? Who's got? Uh, mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Type of thing. It's not really that. Yeah, I try and bring different people with different stories. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Even with Miss Gucci, there was like, oh, da, 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 da. But I want, I'm that, I like Miss Gucci. She yeah, was I liked open. Story and yeah, she was open. Yeah. And so it's like, it's, you just, it's just going to be all different people. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, thanks for coming through, my brother. Yeah, definitely. And, um, yeah, like, we just want to know, where was you born? Mm. Um, your upbringing, school? Mm. So, <clears throat> I was born in Lewisham. Um, Raised in Catford, another area in Lewisham. Mm. Most people would know if they're familiar. And um, yeah, just from, I found my love for running when I was like three years old. Mm. Get me? I remember watching like 88 Olympics shows, shows my age, innit? 88 mm-hmm. Olympics on TV and I see Linford Christie and Ben Johnson and them man running. Mm-hmm. Linford. Yeah. Run. And I see it and I, I don't know what it was. I was just like, rah, like I wanted to do it, do this. And this was only when I was three, innit? Mm. So yeah, born and raised in Catford, Lewisham, saw so athletics from a young age. Mm. Um, been there my whole life. And then when I was five, because from zero to five, my parents went together, you get me? Mm. Moved back with my dad when I was five, onto an estate in Catford, Bellingham Estate. How did you feel? How did you feel when you when you with with the change and all that? Always. It was calm, it was all right. When you're a kid, you don't really know nothing, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's like what's the same with me. Yeah. Like, like you don't you don't really know, you know what I mean? But you, was you in the same area when you moved or 
Did you move? No, I was probably I was, I was probably about what another two miles away. You know okay. what I mean? So okay, originally so you... I was in Catford, and then I moved to Bellingham. You get okay, me? Okay, right. so you could still keep the link with mm, yeah, all your yeah, previous yeah, yeah, friends yeah. and all that. So um, then I, I was raised in Bellingham, Catford, and then um, yeah, I was just. <clears throat> I was still into the running when I was a kid. You got your sports day and all the rest of it, yeah, like yeah, usual yeah. kids do. Get me every year, that would be like highlight of the year. Mm. And um, yeah, I probably got to about what, 11, 12, when I kind of was not forced into it, yeah. But Did like, you used to win all, all, all the races and all that? Pretty much everything. Yeah, 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 everything. That's yeah. like when um, Daniel Plummer from my school, you yeah, went yeah, 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 Plummer, me and Plummer are good friends, you yeah, get me? Yeah, that's my, that's my dog. But that, that's where it all started, isn't it? So mm. right, w winning at school, running at sports day and all the rest of it. And then um, <clears throat> moved from the next part of the estate to another part mm. when I was probably about 10. And then um, started hanging around with... Obviously, the, the the usual usual lot on the on, on in, in the area and that, mm. and then um, I was forced into it. Not forced into it, but I was kind of like <laughs> I had no choice to do it when I was like eleven, twelve because I got in trouble, innit? Mm. So my mom said, "Listen, you're grounded for six months, and you got to go to the running club now, innit?" Mm. So I had no choice. So that's where big it kind up, of mommy. yeah, big up, mum. Mm. And that's where it kind of not didn't get, it didn't get serious because I was still still a youth, but. I started enjoying it more because I had no choice to do anything else. So it was your do. mum that got yeah, you, that yeah, got yeah, you yeah. not your dad. No, no, no. Because just, just, I'm going to say the main mm. subject is going to be fathers and, mm. you know, fatherhood, but we'll get into that. Um, so, yeah, like, because I was going to say, like, South, Lewisham, Catford, mm. that's like a rough area still. Mm. So how was you able to, like, I don't know, you know that's what my favourite word, navigate. Mm. How was you able to navigate through the streets and keep mm. calm and, I know I'm going mad, mm. but... That's my word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How was you able to navigate through the streets and stay away from trouble and, you know, because it's hard? Yeah, no, it is hard still. Do you know what it is for me, yeah? Mm. Because I always knew what I wanted to do from a young age. Yeah. That kind of, sometimes if my brethren were going to do something or go somewhere, I think, ah, I'd have running on the weekend, innit? it? Mm. So I couldn't really go anywhere because I like winning. So I was thinking, now, if I go there and do this with them, then I'm going to go to competition on the weekend, I might lose, innit? it? Mm. So it was the winning thing that kind of kept me out of... Do you know what I mean? Kept me out of the, the madness. Mm. Don't get me wrong, growing up in Lewisham, you're going to get involved in some some things every now and again. Mm. But um, always having that thing on the side, that's what kind of just kept me kept me on the tracks rather than fully veering off, you get mm. me? How was your, how was your um, relationship with your father, if you don't mind me yeah, asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, <laughs> it's a mad one. So kind of like, obviously from zero to five, I was just with my mum, innit? Mm. And when we moved back with him, like, it was kind of like he missed the first five years, so it was kind of re-establishing that father and son connection, you get me? Mm -hmm. And obviously being with my mum for the first zero, zero to five, I was like, happy-go-lucky, soft, you get me? Yeah, like, just like, your mummy's yeah. boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we moved in the estate, innit? And I went out, because I started playing out from young, from when I was like six out on the block, innit, yeah? Mm, big up, tiny. Yeah, yeah. And I was, um, I was outside, I remember some, some youth come over to me, and just started punching me up for no reason, right? So mm. I'm, I'm running around the car thinking, right, what's this brother doing, innit? Because mm. I, I ain't experienced this before, innit? <laughs> Probably Zach's. <Yeah. laughs> so I'm, I'm running the block mm. there. I said, yeah, Dad, this, this boy's... He said, what? He clapped me in my head. to what, your grass? I was mm. thinking, what? What's this? You get me? He said, get mm. outside and brock him up. I went Zach's. So I was like, right. <laughs> I went straight back outside. You get me? I dealt with the boy. And then from there, that's kind of like, I was like, right, cool. Like, mm. Like, no one can't really trouble me now, innit? Like, mm. Man, I found my confidence, innit? Mm. And then just from there, yeah, it was like, he, he was, people that know, like, they know who he is, innit? Yeah. So, it weren't really like a, a conventional father, father mm. figure, you know what I mean? Um, well known in the ends, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All around London. Um, but it was fun, you know what I mean? It was, maybe it's not the healthiest relationship because it was more like, as I got older, it was more like a, a friendship, brother kind of mm -hmm. relationship. It weren't so much father and son, but as a as a youngster, yeah, it was it, it was fun, and I enjoyed the the stuff that it brought. You know mm. what I mean? So, um, going back to um, like your athletics, mm. yeah. So, how like how did how did that how did you, you go from level to different level to different level because it's like obviously I know with football mm. it's like you start you're doing Sunday football you play school play football for the school then you go and you might mm. you know do the young academies <clears throat> with some next um, club semi-pro and all that how is it with athletics like 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's similar kind of thing. It's like I started in school mm. and then you do school competitions. So we did uh, Lewisham schools. If you win Lewisham schools and you represent Lewisham at London schools, you win London schools, then you represent London at English schools, innit? Mm. And that's like, in the UK, that's like the, um, it's like the youngsters version of the Olympics, innit? Mm. Because you truly see who the fastest is because everyone comes through the mm -hmm. school system, do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you go there and then you do something at English schools, then you know mm. like, right, I've got some skills. And the first yeah. time I went there, I got smoked in it. I was thinking, raw, who are these you? Mm. You get me? Mm. Time you thought you was fast. Mm. Yeah, bro, because I'm turning up and they got spikes and everything, mm. and I'm th and I'm in my trainers, innit? I'm thinking, mm. what? So that was kind of an eye opener, innit? Yeah. But it just went on from there. And then when I got to kind of like early teenagers, you do national competitions and all the rest of it. Mm. And as you become what 16, 17, 18, then you start kind of you start flirting with the GB team, the GB junior team. You get me? Mm. And um, I got my first my first Great Britain call up as a junior when I was like what seventeen. Okay. Yeah, and then from there, it, it just kind of it just flows in it. Who was running them times? Because I remember who is it, Mark Lewis France. Yeah. So when I was that age, he was a few years older than me, but he was doing his thing, and he was like, he was big back then. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that was that was that was a time when Chambers, Darren Campbell, Christian mm. Mark, all them kind of people, if you know athletics, they yeah, they're on. the kind they was they was like in the team. Like, okay. Okay. Yeah. And so that's when you. When you Oh, sorry, so, Dan. now go on. I want to hear that voice. Call, when you got your call up, was you excited then? Was you nervous? Oh, yeah. Was you nervous? Yeah. I was a little bit nervous, but do you know what? I wanted to prove myself, innit? Yeah. Because the first time we was at a competition and they had like a, um, a GB junior team, which was us, mm -hmm. and then they had the seniors, the England team. So I got to run against them. So I was thinking, right, I need to prove my, I need to try a bad one of them up on my yeah, reading. Yeah, so I was yeah. more excited than anything. Yeah. You get me? Oh, that's weird. Mm. Yeah, so. That's what I'm, so I, so when you so did you just start winning straight away? Like when you started running for England, like because bro, really. I just want to know how the yeah. hell do you get to run in the Olympics? Yeah, yeah not really. Do you know what? It's hard, man. It's like it's not like I don't know. It's like every time you race, you're gonna be racing seven other people, isn't it? Mm. So you've got like the chance of you winning is not slim, but seven other people. You're not racing against one man, mm. but you just have as you're getting older. Like as I was going from junior to senior, I had to just. You had to take some L's. And remember, when you're young as well, people develop different. Some some of the brothers I was running against were mm. massive. Their yeah. beards and everything. And I'm thinking, raw, you're mm. not 17. You get me? Mm. But um, as they say, what's the saying? Um, talent, talent, don't, don't. Does it be hard, hard, hard work? Hard beats work talent beats talent. When talent right, exactly. working hard. Did you just say that to me the other day as well? I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, there's not a truer saying because mm. I was talented, but... There was many talented people out there, do you know what I mean? Mm. But then I, I, I applied myself. I was yeah. like, nah, I can't lose. You get me? Mm. So because you realised they was working harder than you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So it's like, um, cause I remember, yeah. Mm. See the first, see our first ever interaction, cream. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I remember I came out of jail. I think I came out of jail. I think it was 011 on Buster Case, yeah. But I got um, I think you emailed me. You found the email address or whatever. I think. The Olympics was coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it might have been before. I think it was before I went jail. Because you, you was trying to get the sponsors before. Mm. And I just put out the reel of them RTM clothing. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. back then. Oh, 2010. Mm. The reel of the most clothing came out. And he's hollered me, like, emailed me, like, yeah, um, I'm going to be running in the Olympics. Rare, rare. Come and sponsor him. You know, make him mm -hmm. wear some shirts. Mm -hmm. I thought, wow, mm. oh, big. You get my old Sean mm. Haley. You get me? Yeah. Like, look, rare. So I'm thinking, yeah, big. And I think I emailed you. Yeah, boom. Like, yeah, da, 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 da. then he's, mm. he said something about, yeah, um, you know, like, you could wear it all, like, if I could wear the shirts and plus three grand, and I thought, huh? <laughs> 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 Fam, like, see, like, he said, yeah, plus three grand. And I'm thinking, you know what? But you see, like, at the time, shower man. At the time, shower man. Like, three oh. grand weren't there like that. But you know what it is? Like, la, 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 three grand. You get who's there still in the savings. But not like that to just uh, allow it. Not like that to just fling on, on a whim for 2012 Olympics for a man that might come eighth. You get what I'm saying? For a man that might come eighth. You get me? I didn't even know. But it was such a big opportunity. Yeah. But I flopped in it. Mm -hmm. I went jail or whatever but it's so mad because it's like I remember the Olympics yeah and we mm. was watching it at home and then you've come on and says like James Allen I said that's the guy mm. <laughs> mm. do you get what I'm saying mm. like so it's like raw I, I, mm. I, I missed the chick but yeah. obviously since then we've kept in touch I, mm. I think he's such a lovely person he's yeah. a good soul mm. um, 
and you're just a clean hearted brother. I remember the show video shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You came yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. So we just kept the link. Even last year, went to Dubai mm-hmm. for my birthday. Uh, James come true, ran me a gift. You get what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, he just never comes empty handed and all that. Yeah, so. Uh, nah, you're good man. stuff, man. Good stuff, man. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Good to see. How's it? How is Dubai? Yeah, man, it's good. It's How's good. everyone? How's the yeah. beaches? Yeah, he's good, you know. King of, King of Dubai, he's doing his <laughs> thing, innit? Shutting down all the restaurants and the, and the mm. clubs and all that. But, yeah, um, no, big him up, man. Nah, big he's him up, he's man. doing it nice out there still. Big him up. Um, Yus- Yusuf, um, mm. Nagi5, Levier, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sebastian, Walid. Mm. Yeah, man. That's like my se- second home, man. Yeah, yeah, back yeah, there yeah. Soon. Nice. But what, What's the difference? What do you rather, living over here or living over Dubai? Yeah. Or is that a silly <sighs> question? Do you know what, yeah? I prefer to live over here for the really? long term. Yeah, like Dubai is good short short term, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not it's not home, innit? I yeah. feel that sometimes. I love yeah. Dubai, yeah? yeah. I love Dubai, but guess what? I love I love weed. Mm. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so I it's feel like, like I can do it for a holiday, but mm. then I'd have to come back home. Mm. Just do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, it's, it's it's good. It's good, good over there, stuff. but it's just mm. yeah, I couldn't, it's, I couldn't it's, live over it's there. good to like it's good to go there and like um, detox. Mm. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Detox mind. and calm. Obviously, you can't just smoke beer, weed. You get mm. what I'm saying? What's your favourite thing to do in Dubai? Do you know what? For me, I love food, innit? Yeah, eat. So it's the restaurants. Because yeah. the yeah. restaurants out there are proper. Mm-hmm. So just sitting... And, and when you're sitting at a restaurant, you've got the sun and all that. Like, mm. it's just proper, innit? So yeah. it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's like, you know what? Um, This is what... I, have you been to Dubai? No. All I right, need so to go. basically... This is what Andy reckons what she likes about Dubai. Mm. She, that she just feels safe there. Really? Mm. You know, like, I don't know if it's girls don't feel safe here, mm. but she's like, because obviously you just go anywhere, like, go yeah. on her own, mm. go to the mall, go, mm. you know, anyway. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? They could just go do what they're doing, mm. and we just do what we're doing mm. or whatever. How is the wifey? She, she good? She's all right. Yeah. <laughs> she's all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, so... No, Dubai, man, that's like, that's my second home, but I can't do it for too long. You mm. get me? I, I'm a vice man, innit? Mm. So I like stuff that just, it's just not legal. Can't do that. <laughs> mm. no, I'm yeah, it's mad out there. You gotta be careful still. Mm. A, lot of, a lot of things that people from the UK take for granted when they go to Dubai, they end up getting wrapped up. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know where they're going. Yeah, no, I'm being rude though. How's yeah. wifey? I should ask yeah, you, yeah, how's course, wifey? Man. That's my G. Yeah, she's good, man. She's good. She's yeah, holding man. it down. She's out there now, innit? So, yeah. yeah, she's holding it down. So. I'm over here trying to do this Olympic mission, you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. that's what I was going to say, bruv. We ain't even... All right, so you, you got into the Olympics or mm. whatever. You didn't wear really the most because you wanted mm. three grand. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you didn't just want to wear the shirt for spray. Ruby, you wanted yeah. three grand. I didn't have the three yeah. grand. You get what I'm saying? I let you, but I didn't, yeah. oh, <laughs> say, we move. You get what I'm saying? It was a mad... Yeah, you get me? Mm-hmm. We move. Mm. So you've done the Olympics... Um, did you, did you ever race against your same boat? Yeah, a couple times. Still. Is it? He left you in it. Of course, he, well, left, he left everyone, man. <laughs> yeah, no, but how was it like racing, racing against him? Yeah, man. yeah. The first, well, I can't remember the first. The, the last time I remember racing him was in 013 for the World Championships, mm-hmm. and I ran good in my heat, qualified nice, won my heat, and I was like, yeah, I'm in good shape. You get me? Yeah. Mm. And then they drew the semi-finals. In lane four, Usain Bolt. In lane five, James Ellen. And I'm thinking, oh, this is mad. Mm. Oh, my days, right next right to him. Right next when to him. When he's in his peak. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the 200 metres, so I'm outside him. So I'm the rabbit, bro. Yeah. And he's inside me, you get me? Mm. And I'm thinking, this is mad. Like, you. What the, get me? So anyway, the gun went, boom. Yeah. Come round the bend. I'm winging now. I'm in shape, yeah. innit? Yeah, yeah. I can't see him for about 105 metres, you get me? Mm. I was like, oh, my days. So I've come round the bend, and I just see knees. <laughs> And I was like, oh, you can't do nothing about it, bro. Because he's, he's, he's a build up runner, isn't he? Like, he gets yeah. faster towards the end. Well, oh, yeah, because he's tall as yeah, well, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, like, yeah. He can start as well, like, yeah. don't get me wrong, but when he's up and he's running. Yeah. Like, I see something mad. about that, like, because of how long his legs are. Yeah. Like, the amount of steps for he, he does yeah, for the yeah, hundred yeah. is way less than. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and, and what he's what, six foot five, six foot six, but yeah. he moves like a five foot ten sprinter. Yeah. So, the combination. You can't really contend with that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. What's your, um, what is the word? Personal best? Yeah. So I've run 10.04, lead, so that's my official time. Yeah. I've run 9.96 windy, oh, sub yeah. 10, you get me? Why? What? So yeah, that was, that was in 2016. 
my, mm. my best season still. So you never oh. thought to, you never thought to put put that um, gift on the road, <laughs> like lick some security oh. boxes. <laughs> <laughs> you never thought to put that gift on the road. No, I'm joking. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, but you know they yeah. would never catch yeah. you. Nah, bro. Trust Go on. Me. Now, like, now, mm. now, big you up, man, for staying, mm. staying legit and all that. But mm. yeah. Obviously, I know that tr your trials and tribulations, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. And mm. Obviously, I know the whole of the athletic world knows as well because mm. they I see them. Yeah, of course. They, they're they're mm. rooting for you still, but mm. some of them. A lot of the people, some oh, yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah God. It looks, it looks yeah, good for yeah, me. Most of, them, most of them. But um, some of the people that watch the channel or whatever, mm. they might not know. So it's like, obviously, I remember you went on holiday, like, and it was, it was during your peak. Kind of thing. Yeah, it was, you were doing it was, good. It was, it was yeah, actually, yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? You was yeah, doing yeah. good. Let's have it right. Yeah. Mm. And I remember you went on holiday and I think you had a crash. Mm. Like, can you talk us through that? Because yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to, I, I, just, I just know what I heard. But so, yeah, so just yeah. coming off the back of that 16 season, which was like you said, was the best season of my, of my career, innit? Mm. Changed to the 100 meters fully, was focused, all the, the times, everything. <clears throat> so, then I was thinking, right, we had, um, we had the World Championships in London in 2017, innit? Yeah. Mm. So I was in Tenerife for a training camp mm. and I was in shape. Like it was early January, so it was still still mm. enough time to prep for the competition. Out there training, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, yeah, weekend off. And um, one of my training partners was like, oh, you want to go and visit the volcano, innit? Mm. I was like, I don't know, man, I don't know. Anyway, he rented a bike. I jumped on the bike. And Sutton told me in my head as well, don't yeah. get on the bike. You get me? Don't get on the See. bike. Sutton told me, I didn't listen, bro. See. Jumped on the back of the bike, thought, what's the worst that can happen in it? Mm -hmm. We're not doing nothing stupid, you know what I mean? Anyway, so we've gone up there, visited the volcano, and then on the way back, I just remember seeing headlights, that's it. Bam! Mm. I woke up on the floor, bro, and my legs snapped. Everything's mash up, mm. blood, every I'm thinking, what, what is going on, you get me? Mm. So long story short, we was in a, in, a, in a crash. I broke my right leg, I broke my left ankle, I broke my pelvis. I was so upset for you, Split I remember seeing the pictures. Everything. I was so mashed up. And so they anyway, said you couldn't yeah. walk again, but go on. Yeah, so they rushed me to the hospital. Was you in pain or did or was it like an out of body experience? No, it was or? weird. Like when it happened, like you, when you when you go through that much trauma, you don't really feel it. Yeah. I was kind of just like, I hear that. I felt, yeah, blood. You know the same <laughs> thing. I was just, I was just there, kind of like, yeah. Bro, I felt like I was gonna sleep. To be honest, you get me. Mm. I was thinking, right, let me just stay awake. Yeah. Anyway, so they rushed me in emergency surgery, all the rest of it. Boom, boom, boom. everyone's rushing around. Obviously, I'm kind of semi out of it. Mm -hmm. Um. End up being intensive in intensive care in Spain for five days, mm. and then um, got back to the UK. I was in hospital for four weeks. They're telling me, "Yeah, you're probably not even really gonna like walk properly again." You get me? Let alone train or anything, can it? Mm. But I'm thinking, nah, whatever, man. If I can walk, I'll run. If I run, I'll sprint, innit? Mm. I had three or four operations. It was a madness. I was in a wheelchair. It was just yeah, it was crazy, innit? And then everybody pretty much wrote me off and said, "I'm done. Mm. You ain't gonna train again, innit?" And then, yeah, I got back. Nah, bro, yeah, anyone so. following your Instagram yeah. or whatever yeah. that saw you bloody, you worked mm. hard on yeah, this guy. Yeah, road to recovery. Mm. What? Mm. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, he even, like, he so remember... So motivational, you know, mm. like, oh, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows, because we and him was chatting even with my mm. thing, and I was like, you know what, blood? Like, you know, like, mm. little things when I had to go physiotherapy, and I say, see, like, after seeing my man, mm. yeah. like, you think I'm thinking I can't, like, nuts. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, no. That's the thing, you know, when people write you off, like, I feel, because I noticed that you said from the beginning, if I can walk, then I can run, and mm. I feel like in the beginning, you kind of have to have that don't give up kind of... Yeah, you have to. Mindset. Because even Marv said that as well. Do you remember when he got mm. shot and stuff? <clears throat> when they said he couldn't walk, he was like, no, I am. Like, mm. you know, like, I feel like you kind of have to, like, push through, you know. Like, like, you, you just come to, back yeah. from Italy the other day yeah. running a race, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was in Italy the other day. I ran a race last weekend still. I ran... De getting there, 10-3. Getting mm. there. I've got the Olympic trials next week, oh, so I'm going to be ready. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so good. Yeah, so yeah. How, how long do you have to... You know, you said you was in Spain. Mm. So how long do they have you there to train before you actually... Compete. Well, that was like an early season training camp, so that was only like two and a half, three weeks, just to kind of see where the England's cold. You right. need to get away and get some warm, warm weather training in it. So okay. we do that for that. But normally, when the season's just about to start around April, March, mm. April, mm -hmm. we'll go away to like either America, Florida, or somewhere hot in Europe, just to come away from the the cold of the, yeah. the UK. And mm -hmm. then we come back and then we start competing. Right. So yeah, then all year round you have competitions like every every other week. Leading up to whatever's that year, so this year's the Olympics. Next mm. year will be 
Commonwealth Games and the European Champs. You know what I mean? So I every know. year there's pretty much something that you're, you're trying to gear up for. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. You don't yeah. mind me asking you, mm. how was your, the other person that was on the bike? What happened? Yeah, he he broke his pelvis and all that, but yeah, we went mad like it's like, yeah. like yeah, we yeah, didn't yeah, even yeah, re- no. we forgot <laughs> there was yeah, 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 no. he, he, he broke his he broke his pelvis and that. He give up but, his um, For some reason, they always said like passengers come off worse. Come off worse in motorcycle yeah. accidents. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got I've done everything. You hit me. Yeah, like, even the scar on my head. See this? I had a helmet on in it, yeah, mm-hmm. and I still bust my head. So I was thinking, right, like, I don't know, I don't know how any of my organs didn't get touched. I was lucky, you know what I mean. Mm. Or maybe it maybe, like, maybe because it you like. was behind him, you know, yeah. like that bit might have protected you. I maybe, don't even yeah. know, you yeah. know, like because where you're sitting, I don't even know. Yeah, it was mad. But Thank God, anyway, that you come out the yeah, yeah. No, better most, end of it. Most of the man them that ride bikes, they they always have a one crash still. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's why I, I can't take the bike thing. But yeah, yeah, bikes are crazy. They're mad. Yeah. They're dangerous yeah. still. We got the man them on bike life. Though. Mm. That's their thing. Mm. But no, nah, man, I was I was I was very inspired. You know what I mean by even. How you came back? Do you get what I'm mm. trying to say? Because even when we linked again and we went Wembley and Rare, like yeah, 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 yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It was like you was back. Mm. So yeah, man. How did it feel though? How? What? Because you were saying like a minute ago, like yeah, some of them, I, I you know what I mean, I clocked mm. those a little, mm-hmm. something mm. going on. So how's that? Because see, art industry is techy, isn't it? Oh but it's my like, gosh! It's a, your so industry, is, everything's a yeah. different industry, isn't it? So yeah. it's the same you can't thing. Trust no one, What's right. going on over there? Like, how's the, the, is, is, is there a boys club? How? That's what I was saying. How do you? How do you get to the Olympics? Do you is know it what, about talent, or is it about who, who you, you know? know yeah, it's, a, it's the same. Do you know what? Yeah, for me, yeah, because. Athletics is a bit like football, yeah? It's like, mm-hmm. it's a working class sport. Anyone can do it. Anyone can get a ball and kick it around. Mm. Anyone can go to the track and run in it, yeah? Mm. But once you get into that le- le- into a level where you're on a team or whatever, mm. yeah, the, the, like, the governing body is very middle class, you get me? Right. Yeah. So <clears throat> somebody like me, yeah, mm. who doesn't really fit in with the criteria, mm. it's, I can't, I'm not going to fully blame that, but I've, al- mm. I've always had my own mind and my own opinion, innit? Mm. And if you don't kind of fall into line with how they want things, they make it difficult for you. So for me, for example, any time I've gone to championships, I've had to make sure that I go to the nationals and make sure I come top three. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not going. Yeah, you Whereas, have to be exceptional. Right. Otherwise, yeah. there's certain other athletes that will, they won't even have to go to national champs. Yeah. You know what I mean? They just they get yeah. selected. Mm. Mm-hmm. So as soon as, this thing, as soon as this crash happened, it was just, yeah, like I got written off straight away. It was almost like, rah, James is out of the game. Cool, yeah. boom. Mm-hmm. And even coming back, like everyone's celebrating it. You get me? The papers, mm. and normally people hate the papers, you get me? Mm-hmm. But they're not pushing it, they're not promoting it. I'm thinking, how would you not promote this? Yeah. yeah? Somebody that was on your team won medals for your team, yeah? yeah? Mm. It's come back from a madness, but when it happened, they wrote me off. They pushed me off funding. They done everything. Especially when it happened during training as well. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Like even yeah, more yeah. so they would, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, it was definitely like document your recovery and mm, stuff like that. Mm, do you know what I mean? No, nah, for real. But yeah. So do you think like you're a bit of a threat then? Like, do you know what it is? I, I just think, it's, it, I think people forget themselves, innit? It's like mm-hmm. they put a suit on and then they suddenly think they're, they're like a really a boss, innit? Yeah. <laughs> so when you go against certain things in the mm-hmm. industry, yeah, and remind people about who they are, I'm not saying like, bad them up or anything mm. but our old our old head kind of director guy I, kn- I knew him before he was the director he used to be a physio back yeah. in the day and me and him was cool he was just a physio yeah as soon as he got this suit on he suddenly thought like I'm, I'm the man yeah. you know what I mean mm-hmm. yeah it's and like I'm, in the music like, industry yeah. you know artists and you they used to talk to you but they might get a blue tick or something yeah. and then all of a sudden they can't speak to you or they act like they don't right. know you mm-hmm. anymore exactly stuff you like get, that. yeah you get it's one it's like yeah, what are you doing bus, you like, was in my inbox mm, yeah no come, exactly like, it's exactly that so yeah. I'm, I'm just not with it innit like if you're a good person you're a real person yeah. then we can get on but if you, if you change up and I'll just and they've never liked that because I've called them out on certain things and all the rest of it so it is what it is Mm-hmm. You make any good friends? Boy, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> but it's get me. Mm-hmm. Now I've got a couple of good brethren still. I've got, I'll big them up. I've got Christian Taylor, he's an American athlete. Martin Rooney, Danny Talbot. And then um, there's a few others in the sport as well. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, like, same did with your industry. It's mm-hmm. just, there's did a lot. Any, of... Anyone give you any, did, any emotional, emotional support and all that when you was going through all of that? What, from the team? Just, yeah, just the, yeah, how did you feel like the whole industry yeah, what was that, your biggest that, support yeah. system and, it was my close close family and friends innit like yeah. that was it like 
obviously my wife, you get me a couple of my close, close bridgings. Mm -hmm. um, my mum still mm -hmm. there. Mum's mm. not going to go anywhere, innit? You know what I mean? Mm. Um, <laughs> other than that, really, like, I understand because the athletes are busy. You forget when someone's not involved, you're going to forget. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'll get the odd messages from some athletes that are checking on me, but yeah, just, just close friends and family, really. You know what I mean? Mm. So that's what that's you realise, innit? Like, it's all it's good when you're running quick. Then if yeah. you say, it's more associates in the industry than. Yeah, to me, it's associates. It's not yeah, really. Yeah, because like, friends stay yeah. there forever. It doesn't matter if you see them a lot. Mm. You know, they still remain friends. Mm. But I know it's in the industry. Mm. If you don't have that thing in common anymore, you kind of like... 100%, they, yeah. They always kind of like dwindles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's exactly that. Who's your favourite, like, um, <clears throat> sprinter from the UK? From the UK? Time. From all time? Boy, um, you know, I'm going to have to say it just because he's say a legend. Linford quickly, but... I, I'm going to have to say Linford just I can't, because... I can't believe how long you talked yeah, yeah, to no, say Yeah, no, 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 that's just, you know, because yeah. I'm thinking all technical. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, how long yeah, you, like... Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, thought, no, no, of I course. thought it was a dumb question, but no, I just no, of thought, course. No, 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 I'm no, not yeah. an athlete, innit? I don't know. I used to do sports, we used to have our sports day at Linford Christie's Stadium. Linford, oh my gosh. Whatever happened with you, that thing with Linford? With Linford? Yeah, the thing in the club. I talk about that at my bridge the other day. You don't know the story? No, fill me in now. <laughs> oh my gosh, man's hot Fill me, me in. No, because, hey. no, you see, he wasn't even in the club like that. He was, he was Wembley, innit? Like, <laughs> he was Wembley, innit? Like, some R&B thing, you get what I'm saying? Like, Big Up C and that. and um, Yeah, the C and Lee, they put on some R&B thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, something went off. Some, you get what I'm saying? Some road, something went off anyway, yeah? And then... Bottles was getting dashed or whatever. You get what I'm saying? One of them bust Linford's head. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my gosh, no. One of them, but it's bust a man's head. Them bust his, them bust Linford's head. You get me? I don't know who bust it, but. Not Linford. It's Come supposed, on. It was supposed to be me. How Linford's head get bust? Linford's head got bust, but what's happened now? Linford's head's got bust, but Linford's just gone mad. Linford's not eat it, you know? No, no, no. I realised that hey, Linford's yeah, actually... Yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't Linford, have thought he was anyway. Yeah, yeah, Linford ain't no, 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 eat it. Yeah, you get me? Man, Linford, you know. But he... He must have been thinking, what the fuck? His head's bleeding. He's gone mad. Who? He, who's yeah. that? But he's Lights gone on. so crazy, yeah, yeah. but I'm so local to his craziness that I've... I done it! Like, uh, I no. done it. <laughs> but it's even looking crazy because he's so big and massive. Mm. Of, mm -mm. Like, it's even when I got home. He's just saying to me, oh my gosh, like, you know, I'm nuts, it look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My man's just big, but it's like, nah, man. But and then the next day, but that's just me, just because he was just getting off, and I'm thinking, mm. we like, it, I didn't even see Linford Christie type of I'm just seeing a man oh, saying that madness. Yeah. You didn't realise it was it's him. It's mad, but anyway, mm -hmm. the next day, Twitter, they're chatting madness. They're saying, oh, Spray, how are you, how are you bust Linford head and <laughs> rare it? <laughs> Get me. Yeah. I'm thinking, raw. These lot are trying to they get They must have been onto you because they're trying to get my name. Linford can't do no wrong. Linford can't do no wrong. They're trying to get my name. They're trying to get my section 20 on Linford. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get my section 20. So it's like, so anyway, I'm saying, no, I never done that, Rare. Mm. But anyway, like me and him was, he, 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 he um, tweeted me and said, like, I'm making him know he's a legend. You get what I'm trying yeah. to say? I mean, everyone know that's a legend. Like, mm. I'm saying, yeah, I never done that to Linford. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> never done that to Linford. And whoever, allegedly done it to him. They didn't even do it to him. Mm. You get what I'm saying? They just mm. bust the next man's head. The butt was bust off that next man. Mm. It's bust Linford's head. You get me? But yeah, yeah no, big up Linford. But, but I was going to say, though, big up Linford. Linf 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 he always asked for you though. still. He's like, how's your, how's your, how's your bridge spray, man? No, no, no. I like him, I like him still. <laughs> no, no, he, no, Linford's solid still. He's a solid, solid, yeah. solid, solid guy still. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Big him up, man. But yeah, man, I wish you didn't ask me that. But yeah. Now, big up Linford. But yeah, man, um, your story. Um, so, since your comeback, <clears throat> yeah, because obviously since your comeback that like, you moved to Dubai, mm. like, what was the reason behind that? Mrs. Mrs. She got a job out there. And, okay, I, okay. and I ain't tired anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, can, I can train anyway, you mm -hmm. get me? Yeah. So, she got a big job out there. She's a <laughs> she's a boss still. Okay. Oh, so she, she's she got over wifey. there. Yeah, yeah. So, she's over there doing her thing. Mm. And I was like, right, makes sense for me because the, the weather's better over there anyway. Of course, I mean? of course. Yeah. So, I know quite a few I've, people I've, that have actually moved to Dubai mm, for I've work, stayed you know? in your yard yeah, for yeah, like yeah. A, a couple of weeks and that when I've gone yeah. over there. So I know he's all right. You're yeah. in, he's in Dubai Hills. They got a thing, <laughs> yeah, they got a thing called Dubai Hills, you know, like Beverly Hills. Yeah. He's yeah, in Dubai yeah. Hills. So, yeah, yeah, he's nice still. You get me? He's got a big place. Hey. Mm. Have you not got children? No, no, oh, no. Okay. I've got a daughter, 10 year old daughter from a previous relationship. Yeah, we ain't got no kids yet. 
what's going on with that? Do you get? Do you see that thought? Do you yeah, see yeah, that? yeah. When I'm here, I see her still. I see her. I see her. You get me? She's big enough. So FaceTimes me all the time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Is she into Style. sports? Yeah, she does taekwondo. You know. Oh really? But she's proper strong. Yeah. She's strong, man. She's strong. So I spoke to her the other day. She's telling me she she winged out all the boys in the school, and I'm like, yeah, that's good. You get me? My daughter yeah, was doing. Yeah. My daughter was doing judo. Oh yeah. Yeah, and mm. like she won gold on her first tournament. Like, yeah. You just found like, oh my gosh, like you're actually really good at this. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Flipped over one of the guys and everything. Like, wow. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah, was that's so good. good. She moved that ring. Yeah, she's yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he he um. The man that does it, mm. he's been there, like done it for like for over thirty years. He has to, he actually used to train Reds and his sister. Mm-hmm. So when he saw Tammy come and everything, so like, but it's not that being girl thing. But cool, she was girl. really, mm. my daughter's really good at it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, keep her in it. Yeah, man. it's good. I think. She stopped. She stopped as well, you know. But I'm gonna try and get let her, her go in. back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she actually is really good. So yeah. what's going on for you now, James? One, like, what's your plans? Mm. Like, what's your goals? Like? Well, do you know what? Yeah, I open my big mouth in it. When I first crashed, and said I'll be on the start line at the Olympics, innit? Mm-hmm. And I've, pre- I've, 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 I've accomplished everything I've said so far, innit? So yeah. the last thing for me to do is next week, which is mm-hmm. make the Olympic team, innit? Mm. So, like, right now on paper, it's looking, it's tight because oh, there's a few people that run faster than me yeah. still, but yeah. mm. I, know to, I know how to get my head into gear, innit? So, mm. so do, they, do, they, do they work off stuff like experience <clears throat> or do they just go straight off who's running the force? No, they do sometimes when it comes to relay and stuff, but mm-hmm. I'm not even banking on that. I'm looking to just go to the National Champs next week and just tear it tear up. Tear it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to. I, yeah. I've got no choice. I'm rooting mean? for you, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, we're rooting we're for you, man. We're, we're, rooting, for you. Yeah, we're, we're rooting, rooting for you. We're rooting for you so yeah, much. We're running big ziggies around you. You get what I'm saying? I'm rooting for you. Nah, man, you're a G, man. Yeah, respect. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But yeah, man, we're gonna go into the um, we're gonna go into the um, main topic after. But we want to do mm. some current affairs quickly. But that's what I was saying. Anything mm. else about your story, boy? Because oh, two, there's too many things. But mm. you'd have to get at me. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. Like, yeah. Depend- what would you What would you say to any um, like young guys that you know they want to go into sports or anything like that? Boy, I'll just uh, I'll say try try and stay on it because you know yeah. I went through a phase where. I didn't. I didn't like. I, I've always loved running, but the, the the monotony of just going training all the way. I was like, ah, you know, I, I might just give this up. Mm-hmm. There was there was a lot of times where I could have easily stopped. Mm-hmm. Mm. Lucky enough, I had mum that was on me. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, listen, don't be stupid. You need to stay on it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just try and try and stay on it. Just try and stay on it, man. It's easy. It's easy to get pulled off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. But in the long run. Like, you, I think you know what it is as well? See, like with athletics, blood. See, like from the outside, not like that, but you mm. see, like football, isn't that? Mm. They get P in it. Yeah, so exactly. it's like, it's like with you think, like, all right, how do I get P from mm. money? Mm. Like, I have to literally be a Usain Bolt. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So, mm. what other thing? What do they have to do? do you know what no, I mean? but now, do you know what? Yeah, now it's different, now, isn't it? Because when I was coming up, literally, you had to run fast and be at all the champs to even get a contract, innit? Yeah. Mm. But now with the social media thing, yeah, mm. there's so many of these young athletes now mm. that have, they might not even be that good to be on big teams, yeah, but they're on the brink and they're getting sponsors now. Because yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sponsors, sponsors, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. So all the yeah. brands on it, they want to see, right, oh, this young up and coming athlete who's yeah. top. So you have to be a character, basically, or you have to have yeah, social media yeah. following. I mean, that's even better. If you're a character and, mm. you've got, and you're, you're semi-decent, then mm. you're, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, it's the social media thing. Like do you have like else. an agent? Yeah, I got a race agent, okay. but commercial, commercial. So I, right. I've always kind of done stuff on my own, to be honest. Right. Yeah, you because know, some of the, most of the agents are just yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's agent, agents like managers, mm. you know, in our industry. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah a lot be. of them must be in it for themselves. That hundred percent. Yeah. But you got, you got, you got to find a, a, a agent that's you know what I mean. Mm. It's like with punch, you know, like we were chatting to punch the other day. And like big up Jason, punch him. We're gonna have him. him, have him we're gonna have yeah. him in when he comes over. But uh, basically, his agent was like his bridging was like our bridging. They mm. you get me Morocco. Mm. So sometimes it's always good to have someone close to you yeah, in that yeah. position because yeah. you know yeah. that person cares for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Mm-hmm. Type of thing. So yeah, it's like Stormzy in it. Stormzy's man is that's his people then, mm. and you see where they've gone. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's always good to have. So, even Rich, Rich got um. Zion, you know what I'm saying? Them two are dogs from Arlong. Okay. So it's like, it's always good to have 
You know what I mean? Mm. Makes you a lot more organic. But yeah, man. Anything you cream, I want you to take over. Anything else, you want to take, get out of him. You know what I'm and saying? Oh. <laughs> he's even, he's making me know I've got bare more to say. Yeah. <laughs> you know he's saying? making me know my interview is mad. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking, take over here. Um, Ask him some no, stuff. No, because see, when I do interview like papers and journalists, and yeah. that, mm. they all ask the same questions, innit? Mm. Which I understand because they want to, it's all about. But I'm like, you, you, you could ask me thing. what you like. Do you get me? You can mm, get stuff out of me. You yeah. get me? I'm not, I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, just. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So right now, I'm asking the same questions as them. No, 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 no. You're, you're, oh, no, you're, you're asking. Like you're asking <laughs> no, no, you're asking. Right pro- you're asking proper <laughs> questions. You get me? But yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Because you know what it is? Because obviously, we're gonna be talking about fathers or whatever. So I'm gonna. Mm-hmm. So it's like gonna, you're gonna get I'm gonna be talking yeah, to you about all of that with your. So it's like, but. I need like it's like skinny man. See, like everyone's mm. different with this interviewing thing. Mm. So it's like skinny man. I can you're skinny. Boom. Mm. Skinny. How, how old was you when you was at that. your fastest? Do you reckon? Like when you just you was even shocking yourself. You was just blowing. Do you know what? It's all relative to the age, isn't it? I was always fast for it. Because I noticed with with sports, they keep mad saying question. that it's about yeah. age. Like mad question. Yeah. Sorry, it's, it's yeah. mad. Is it? <laughs> mad question. No, That's not mad. No, no I don't cool, think cool, so. Cool, 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 Obviously, cool, I was at my cool, fastest cool. when I was in twenty sixteen, cool, cool. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. But in terms of me, I'm sure that's a mad question, that, but cool. Go ahead with that. We all want to know, know, that one we all wanna know yeah. what age you was going. Yeah. All the way from the 20s. I know. I don't know, man. but 2016 probably, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's when I ran my fastest, and that, that's when I was speaking <laughs> so to myself. So we, myself. Right. just allow it. Yeah. Let's go into the current affairs. Shut up, man. No, Don't but try let's it. current affairs. No, 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 because it. that's you like people that are watching, they might be doing sports, they mm, want to know, mm. like, do you know? Mm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the weed. Current affairs. This, we're going to get him back for his story where we think of. No. No, but. Nah, real talk, man. Mm. Save for coming true, man. But let's yeah. get into current yeah. affairs, man. Alright. Oh, mm. Do you want me to start with You the know current? we're the RTM podcast, so we're not really the journalists like that. Mm. Mm. Where's my yeah, notes? Where's my notes? Where's my notes? So, in the current affairs, the first thing that I wanted to get into... Oh, that's a bit um, Did you see the little boy in his uniform getting dragged by the bunch of policemen? With his handcuff behind his back. There's a video going I around. See, I saw it on the on the I socials. I don't know which one you're talking about, but I see like some. There was actually two I saw. some you outside the shop or so I think he was shoplifting but he was deaf in his uniform mm-hmm. and like some woman was like, like why is there a bear of you around him mm. and yeah they it, don't need it just look, all of it just you just look excessive that. you get what yeah, I'm saying like for a look at you mm. just stand him up innit you don't need to have it like <laughs> alright cool he's done a bit mm. of shoplifting whatever his mum might be a crackhead mm. you don't even know what's going on mm. for mm. that you or why he's even doing that but anyway mm. you're on his and he was just bearing him I just thought yeah, I thought it was too much. If it, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's the same video, but yeah, it was outside the shop and they were saying he shoplifted and the woman was like, oh, the woman that was even filming said, say, no, nah, he didn't and all that. Mm. But, yeah. If it was just for shoplifting, then I'm actually disgusted. Of course. Because I'd expect that behaviour to hear if they just heard that he had stabbed somebody or attacked someone. That's the only way I would actually say like that's acceptable for them to be dragging him into the, um, into the van. He had on his uniform... His toes were scraping on the floor. His he had he was handcuffed behind his back and they was holding one was holding here, one was holding there, and he wasn't fighting. Mm. Excessive behaviour is when you're putting up a fight, so they need to use force. He's underage, he's in a he's in you know what I mean? Like if that was my child, I'd be trying to take it as far as I possibly could. Do you mm. know what I mean? There was people mm. standing around saying, like, you don't why are you doing this? It's too much, it's too much. And they just didn't give a shit. 
Like, I was just disgusted with what I saw, to be fair. And the wickedest, I mean? thing, the wickedest thing, though, is it's, it's not no new thing. That's the thing. Like, mm. from as long as I've known Fez to be, like, for dealings with Fez, that's mm. how they deal with, man. Mm. Mm. So it's like, and you have to understand this as well, like, some people, me included, which mm. is definitely me, yeah. mm. especially from a young age, you deal with, you, you deal with, like, that you is just going to naturally just not hate police. He's yeah, he's cool. definitely. He's not going to like police. Yeah, you've broken the like, trust with And that's from a kid. Mm. From Dakar, what are you doing on my back like that? Like you, mm. and he, he's young, but he's not stupid. He knows that I can't get away if you mm. stand me up. I can't, you know what I mean? Where's and it's that? making me question them as well, even more so. Like, if that's the kind of force that they're going to use in broad daylight in front of people, then what are they doing when you get in the station? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, we can't trust, like, you work for the police they, and the community officers. They actually work for us, you know. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And every time the public are getting involved and, ex and telling them how they feel, they keep telling you to stand back. Mm. You actually work for us, so you mm. need to actually listen to what we're saying as well. Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Public service, like, that's disgusting. Yeah, they, Do you know killed, what I mean? they killed that Rashford as well, innit? Rashford, um, or Rush, something from um, Acne. They, they choked him as well. It's, it's, yeah, like, nah, it's not on. So, um, yeah, that was one of the things that I saw. So, yeah, I didn't like that. Mm. What do, you, what do you think of, um, I see they announced that... Um, what, the carnival? No, nah, Deontay, Wal Deontay <laughs> Wilder and Fury. Who do you think is going to win that? Boy, I don't know. I think Fury's going to win it again I think still. Fury. Yeah, like the way he beat him up last yeah. time. You know what I mean? You know what, he's boxing-wise, boxing Fury's got in the bag, but guess what? Mm. The Wilder can knock him out, though. Of course. He's got, he's got something to prove it. as well. No, but he just, course, proved, yeah. he just proved that he can knock him out. He's done it in the first... I think that first fight he knocked him out, he was down for more than 10... Mm. You know what I mean? But obviously he was winning mm. rounds and all that. But mm. I'm saying like the second fight was just stupid. Like, yeah, that was one, that was one I way think Wilder looked off morning. to be fair on the second fight. Yeah, he, he yeah. Yeah, he was just doing too much. He, he was came just with doing all of that too much with that big costume heavy costume and, and everything. He looked like <laughs> his energy mad. was sucked before he got in the ring, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? I don't think yeah, he was prepared. Yeah. Nah, he weren't still. Do you know what I mean? He was like, just getting mad. But he can't he can't I, I can't see him being beating Fury. Um, no, I, I boxing don't, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. Definitely wouldn't win on points. I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Still. But I, I also know. Anything can happen, innit? You can knock him out. Do you watch UFC and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know about Adesanya? Of course, man. Style you know, bad way, innit? Yeah, bad. Proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. He, he, he beat Vittori the other day. Yeah, that's what I, I watch. I need to catch up with that still. But yeah, no, I follow him. I follow him. He's a bad boy for Yeah, he's a bad boy still. But what's going on with Notting Hill? Yeah, they've cancelled Carnival again. They cancelled it Yeah, again. but um, I thought mm. they would anyway, to yeah, be that's fair. What I'm I didn't, I, 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 like, I didn't even see that happening. Mm. Do you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, not that yeah, much, not that big of a crowd of people. Yeah, but even, to be fair, yeah, I'm even thinking how, because I, I see they extended, the, the, we got extra days as well, mm -hmm, and it, because we were supposed to open my cup, I think, on the 21st mm. of June, mm -hmm. and now they've said the 19th of mm. July now. Mm. So, um, but I don't even see how you're going to go from one thing to the... I don't see how yeah. people are still taking this thing seriously. Mm. Like, even today, on the train, blood, yeah? Imagine I've got on the train, but it's like the last the last carriage before the drive, where the driver is, and there's some thing stopping you saying, yeah, you can't sit in this bit because for social distancing of our staff or some shit, but it's like bare empty, mm. empty seats. Mm. But these down the trains, ram. I'll just bust it. Mm. Naturally, you come thinking, I'm not a sheep. I, mm. There's seats here, empty seats. Mm. You lot are all not two metres apart, mm. but you want to be two metres apart from the driver, five metres apart from the driver. I bust it now. I'm sitting, I'm a couple white youths have come because they've clocked in it. They're mm. knowing, yeah, for real. Do you believe in that, mate? Nah, mate. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I'm with, they're with me. They've gone quick anyway. I'm there. People, they're still there. Like, it's like people are just programmed to believe in nonsense. Mm. Like they're not even thinking, For themselves. taking time to mm. think. But hold on, we're all stacked here, <clears throat> not two metres apart, but we're going to read this sign and listen mm. to it and not sit on all these empty seats mm. that's here because the driver's in this yeah, bit because I think with the door closed. Mm. Yeah. And the maddest thing, see, when I got off, don't think this driver didn't open the door. And he's like, close back, mate. <laughs> he's trying to tell me, wait, huh? I'm even saying, are you going mad? He's like, Oh, I can't understand why you do it. I said, I can't understand why you would have it there, mate. I'm... Mad man, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, like, just bare, there's bare little things mm. with this COVID that I don't get. Mm. It's like, you go to the airport, yeah, 
you're all like, see, like to do the bag drop, mm. you're all two meters apart to do mm. the bag drop, then you get on a plane, then you hit each other. Yeah, yeah that that's so what, what, sense. Yeah. Make it make sense. Like do you get in what the I'm restaurant trying to do? where you gotta wear your yeah, mask yeah. and then you take it off when you sit Oh my gosh, Cream, do you know what happened? I took, I took um, Kian, Fort Park the other day. Kian, um, my, my nephew, Kwesi, I took them Fort Park from. So, see when you're lying, obviously man's Q jumping, man's heavy, yeah? Cut, but I just wanted to say that just for no reason. Like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man's Q jumping, Q jumping, oh. they say no Q jumping will be tolerated, but they, they tolerated it, you get mm. what I'm saying? They tolerated all of it. They tolerated it so much. See, when I, I don't, I'm Q jumping, yeah, to the point where, but remember, they're younger than me. <laughs> like, my son and all that, they're younger they than me. They felt bad. Yeah. No, oh. you don't understand. Like, I've done it yeah. once, couple times now, but now they're thinking this is something we can do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm even nervous to where they're trying to make, yo, daddy, daddy, like, they're showing me gay, yo, daddy, daddy, gay, gay, gay. But I'm looking, I'm, I'm seeing some tongue white. Uh, I'm thinking, nah, like, not that gay, not that gay, son. Next gay, next gay. <laughs> next gay, next gay. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, daddy, daddy, like, they're, they're on it. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But yeah. Mm. So anyway, boom. So you're lining up all stuck together or whatever, no mask on. You get to the ride in Fort Park, they say, can you put your, your masks on, please? We need your masks on for you to do the ride, otherwise not. I'm, what? I'm not, really ain't got my mask. Big argument, you know, big okay. argument. They don't want us, cause I always get into things in Fort Park, I'm a big child, <laughs> it? So it's like, and I'm, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, mm. a, it's not a good day at Fort Park if we don't get kicked out, I'm joking. <laughs> you know, <laughs> big up Rods, big up um, Nicks, you get me? But anyway, so boom now. So they big argument that they didn't want to start the thing, so I've had to put my thing mm. on, they've started it, you get me? But dumb stuff like, what sense does that make? Mm. Make it make sense, mm. Boris. You got make your hair, your hairstyle make sense. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Boris is a madman, you get me? But that's, what, that's what's running our country, mm. Boris. You get what I'm saying? Mm. I've seen him on the train before as well, you know. Of course you saw him on the train before. Everyone's seen him. Everyone's seen him. Yeah, yeah, he's always popping up yeah. somewhere, man. Boris is always somewhere on his bike. I was shopping mm. down West End and I jumped on and I saw him. You should have bonged him, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
You know I'm moving like I ain't got a twenty pound now. No, I was oh gonna actually get, I have to get my twenty pound now. I've I never even heard this. of this shit. I've got two men do twenties. Get me. Where is it? You never. Are you mad? Where's this? Where's this rascal? Stupid son. Where is it, D? Ah, oh, sit there. Look. Where? That's the COVID sign there, you know. In oh, the middle shit. there. This bit there. Yeah, look. That's the COVID. Even if you look at it like that, you can see that. Look. Even if you look at it like that. Yeah, that's the COVID sign, yeah. Yeah. But they put it for everyone to see. Look. Oh, see, yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah. That, the germ thing, innit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, wow. that's that's the sign they use for COVID, but it's on the 20 pound note, Queen. COVID, yeah. they're laughing at us. Ha ha ha. This is what we're going to do. Ha ha ha. COVID. Mm. But, but they've adjusted but, all the roads. Have you seen like how they're changing all the roads? Oh Camden right place. now. Right now they've like, put all of the they, roads, like they've that. made them no through roads and put little lanes for the um bikes yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. they've changed up the roads <coughs> like they were they've they, they're getting ready for 100%. something. They do you know what I, mean? Lewisham. I went to Lewisham the other yeah. day and I was like, what? what yeah, they that? just want everybody going yes. in one yes. direction, in yeah, one. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No little shortcuts, no, no nothing no, like that no, anymore. No, 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 no. They're just mocking it, you mm. know what I mean? They're just madness. mocking it, you know what I mean? Because the amount of traffic and congestion that we have in the city, I can't believe that you lot are trying to make it worse. Yeah, exactly. Because that's not helping. It's all about control, man. Yeah, it's I don't, don't want to sound like a No, but I agree, it is. It's about control, man. It is, They've done this whole thing. They've used this thing now just to implement more mm-hmm. more things in our way, do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But and it's not nice for the prisoners either. No, of course not. They're taking the piss. Of course like not. I know people like they just still ain't got no getting no visits. Like mm-hmm. it's just stupid. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, now nah, anyone that still believes in COVID or still thinks that it's real like that, then I just I just think I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's to me it's so obvious, but obviously mm. I think out of the box, innit? Mm. So yeah, see, the next thing though, yeah, moving on from that, because COVID is just, every, all, it's just mm, there, innit? Mm. But um, see, like I see some vid, that video with um, Fred, Fredo, Fredo and um, Central C, yeah? Mm-hmm. There was some um, video girl there, yeah? And them lot, them lot had bare money, like, in the, in the video or something. And boom, Fredo must have called her out, like, she tried. And she teeth the money. Do you see yeah, it? Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Still, yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Do you, she, think she, she, do you think she tried to waste it? I don't know. Do you think she tried to wear it? Boy, I don't know, bro. I looked, I, I, I watched her thing still. I just know if she tried to wear it, she's very stupid. Mm. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, but even 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 what she was saying, she was like, oh, something about the beer door, they were supposed to, that's the door and what not. But the thing she is, why would, you, but why would you bring the money to the toilet with you? Yeah. Oh, uh, so you didn't see it? Yeah, because I, yeah. I saw her reaction yeah. to yeah. the video. Yeah, she said she put it in the bag. Said, yeah, she said I she put it in. I ain't seen side of it. I only seen more oh, than talking about Oh, it. yeah. So she, in her vid, she made a video and she said, basically, she tried to say, like, they was doing it, like, you know, like a, like, clout, you know, because it happened ages ago. Why would you mention it now? Right. And she said mm. that she was going to the toilet <clears throat> and she had like money, you know, like because they gave yeah, their yeah, money yeah. to hold or stuff. So she like put a little bit of money somewhere yeah, yeah. or something. It wasn't as much you know, as they said. Yeah, or something. But um, if you're used to doing those type of jobs and you know that you go on set, mm. you're not meant to leave with anything that yeah, is on set. Yeah. You know what it is? Anything that is placed there, props, jewellery, anything, and especially yeah, money. Yeah, 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 come on. You know you're not meant to really leave with yeah. money, even if that wasn't your intention. What did you think was going to happen if they mm. catch That's you what in I was the trying to say. That's what I was going to say. Money. Yeah, no. That's what I'm going to say. Saying? Me, personally. Like, because I would be yeah. like, what are you doing? She like, might have just been drunk still. Yeah, but yeah, guess yeah. what, though? Just the fact that you're doing all this, yeah. you know, you're trying to, you're definitely looking yeah. like you're guilty. Because you're a professional. Mm. She, she you sounded with, well you spoken and professional, so she should not know what to do. Yeah, of do you know? And I don't know the, the circumstances. Like I said, I don't know how drunk she was, if she just forgot herself or like, you how with near man, the money? toilet was. I don't know if the toilet was yeah, just but you're, there. You I don't forgot know, yourself, but, but don't forget you're not, my money. You're working in it, mm. so you know, like... Yeah, come on. You know, you're working. Know, yeah, that's, there's no yeah, excuse like, for that, really. Yeah, that's, that's I'm more not picking up no See, money. see them pee there? Yeah. See that money there? That's more than props. A quick four bags. That's more than props. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah, be, come on. It's not you going to the toilet quickly with some props. Mm. Like, put my money down, then go yeah. to the toilet. Because I know, you know someone that's had a video shoot and they've had their money and afterwards, it's a, their counting money's gone missing. Like, even money's she was gone, like, it's so easy for money to go missing. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, mm. yeah. She was like, oh, yeah, like, you know... Like even like they shouldn't do it because like people can come there and you know there's mm. lots of money there and people could but obviously if you got so much money there you better have something local. Mm. 
You get what I'm saying? So no, but I'm sure like for a I'm saying that it's so, it's a, No, but I'm saying it's like only going to be teethed by mm. someone there. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Car, they're not going to have so much pee there exactly. and it's not protected. Are exactly. Yeah. exactly. Like, so don't be coming with that excuse. Like, oh yeah, no, 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 no. So it's like, uh, yeah, because if it's a public that. shoot, you're not really going to have that amount of live cash there. Mm. That's normally like an intimate um, um, shoot with you and your boys and stuff like mm. that, like a mm. few models. So, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, like, I just I just thought, I did. I weren't sure in it because I saw a thing and I thought, you know what? She could possibly have not really been trying to, where is it? Because mm. it's like, but you're just drunk or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Like, man's not thinking the wrong thing as well. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. what you're saying, like, man's not thinking the wrong thing. Why are you in the toilet with man's door? Why are you mm. even going? Why are you even leaving right here? <laughs> like, with, why is it even in your waistband? Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't, why, just throw the money. Mm. That's what we told you to do. We told you, throw the money, <laughs> throw the money. Throw it, throw it. Let it all go on the floor. Don't put it in your waistband. That wasn't in the script. You get what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> don't, you get what I'm saying? But nah. You got mm. Monica, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Monica. Monica. You get me? You're trying to me tee up. fuck the Monica. You get what I'm saying? You're too foul. <laughs> You're too foul. You get me? You're yeah. too foul. But I like that too, you know? Yeah. I like the song. Yeah, still. yeah, yeah. Them lot went hard. I like yeah. the song. Yeah. And um, next thing I saw, yeah, I don't know if you saw it, but yeah, I saw the little, um, it's old still, but I saw um, the interview with CBS, yeah? With um, ZZ Mills. Mm. I rate ZZ still, because obviously, like, she's my um, people's um, family or whatever, yeah. I like what she's doing or whatever, yeah. But when I watched that interview, the bits I saw, I thought, wow, like, you're probably trying to draw. It's like, yeah. she wanted mm. him to say, mm. st- like, he's trying to just mm. not even get into too much or whatever, but. She, oh, yeah, you're yeah, what you... She, it's like she wants him to say he's a drug dealer. Mm. I thought, what? What yeah, do you want? No, no, she come in like, like a Vlad like, TV kind of like... I just she come like Vlad, you get yeah, it? Yeah, she yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Like, a man's just saying what he's, he's mm. going around it. You know, yeah. like, if you could see a man going around something, it's like, me interviewing you right now, if I ask you something and you've said something to me and I've kind of clocked, mm. like, you're you gonna don't get, really want to... Yeah, of course. I'm not going to press you on that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because, but obviously... But anyway, so I thought that, and then another thing, she 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 mentioned like, oh yeah, um, yeah, I'm not from the streets or something like that, yeah. Mm. And I thought, okay, that's fine, but see if you're not from where man's from or what we're yeah. from, then maybe you shouldn't have too much of a big opinion. opinion. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> that's what it, I think. What so, yeah, because yeah, that's the clip that I saw. <clears throat> so like, yeah, like everything else, what you're doing. I don't really know much about the other stuff, but in regards to what you just said, mm. when it comes to people like that, when you're interviewing them, I think she needs to more interview them as opposed to interrogate them. Mm. She feels it's like you're, she's mm. interrogating them. Mm. And in the clip, it was like, yeah, I'm not privy to that lifestyle and I didn't grow up and this and that. So then there's a lot of stuff that you just don't understand. Of course, exactly. Like you're not qualified then really to understand the person that you're interviewing. And, um, if when if you were if you did understand that you'd understand that certain things you can't say on the TV because no one wants to send themselves to jail. Do you understand what I mean? We can't speak about certain things, but you can talk about certain things you've seen, like you know, like in your creative. Do you know what mm, I mean? Mm. So I feel like she kind of don't understand people just telling their story. Like they don't always have to be glorifying it. Like mm. what do you want people to do? They're just telling their story. Mm. You know, like every time someone's telling their story, she keeps saying you're glorifying, you're glorifying a lifestyle. Mm. But do you want me to make up a new lifestyle? What I have, mm. do you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, I just thought, you know what I mean? It just, mm. you know what I mean, it's like see that Vlad or whatever in mm. America. Like, I think is a lot of people. A lot of people's got ended up going jail. Yeah, like his interviews and that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think. We need to start, uh, um, even now, there's a, a lot of interviews going on or whatever, but be careful what you, yeah. you want to say as well. Mm-hmm. 100%. Because it? it's like, yeah. once, you've, once you've left your mouth, like, Don't let her coach 100%. out stuff out of you just so that she can get her little views, views. and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Because yeah. she ain't from the lifestyle, nothing's no, no, happening no, to her. Sure. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> and if she don't, <clears throat> excuse me, if she don't rate the lifestyle, then I wouldn't even really give her the interview neither. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. if you're part of the culture, you're meant to add to the culture. Mm. You know, so if you don't really understand it, then you need to start interviewing pop artists. Well, really, it's just another form of exploitation, isn't it? Yeah, that's like, what I just, think so. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like to a, like, there's a lot of things that she does that is good, 
But she's kind of like a clout chaser to me mm. in the industry because mm. she knows that every time she says something, it's because it's going to stir up a big of reaction. Course, of course. So now I don't even know if it's your real honest opinion. I just know you're saying it because you know everyone's going to react to it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But saying that as well, though, she's in a position where that's what she's got to do, isn't it? Of course. Mm. So it's like, yeah. with that, I don't even, whatever, innit? Because that's what you got to do. But as far as like, just... Being, you know the, the Vlad thing you have to mm. be careful because obviously he was qualified didn't he, he, some, he was qualified yeah, so yeah. he knew not to say but yeah. you see some people they're not qualified if you're, if some you're, people just mm. gonna say but if, like, who's qualified thinking, knows that hip hop and rap mm. is kind of like it was meant to reflect the streets and the times mm. do you understand what I'm saying mm. so there's certain people that you know that's how they express themselves how much more do you need them to explain that do you know yeah. what I mean? So I, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm saying it's like, with I'm saying in general, see, people getting interviewed, mm -hmm. like, they need to be careful as well. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, don't just let out of course. madness. Do you yeah. get what I'm trying yeah. to say? Because just thinking, oh, I'm going to let out this madness for the clout or whatever, because, mm -hmm. or because they're asking. And a lot of people get caught up with this whole, oh, yeah, um, tell no lies and, mm -hmm. yeah, the truth and, all this, the truth will send you to the to the bin. <laughs> Lie. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Lie. Lie. Do you get what I'm saying? Lie. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, but do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Lie. Cause I see sometimes you can't go and not answer to, to the feds. Yeah, I'm not answering. You're getting getting guilty. So lie. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes lie. Do you get what I'm saying? If you're really about what you're about, you get what I'm saying. And man, know that anyway. But I'm just saying. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's the interviewers, that's their job or whatever. They can give you whatever questions, but be careful how you reply to mm. these questions. 100. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like that way. Do you get what I'm saying? Anything else going on, Queen Ice Cream? Um, do you like to watch the verses? No. Oh, no, you let watch, I watch, I watch, I watch, I watch, obviously, the Jeezy one. Yeah, I and I remember Bounty yeah, Killer and Beanie and that and all of that. But mm -hmm. yeah, so basically, they had a Trina and Eve. You lot know Trina and Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I put a poll on my little stories. I said, who do you lot think will win? And it was like 80% they thought Eve was going to kill it. But um, I watched it. Standard. And that's what everyone was saying. Yeah, but standard. you know what? Funnily enough, I will actually say that Trina really surprised me. Right. Because Eve came with the... Eve was in London. Trina was in Miami. Come on. Um, Eve's ripping. Eve was more <coughs> barry, grizzly or whatever. Wait, but Trina came with the vibes. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. she actually right. can <laughs> perform. Like, she actually was more, like, vibey, even mm. though Eve is a rapper, rapper. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, they were both really good. They but she looked got, she so ain't got, good. she ain't got rhythm for Eve. She had no. She's, she do you know what? She was Eve. more bouncy, dancey, clubby stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eve was more. Yeah, she ain't got you know grizzly, get that DMX, yeah. rough rider she stuff. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I reckon the guys would. Yeah, the rap guys would most probably prefer Eve, yeah, but they on, were yeah. both good, and they both look really good, like for their age. Do you know what I mean? Like because yeah. they're quite older, yeah, but they yeah, look yeah. like yeah, they look good, man. It was good. How was old good. are they now? Eve must be what kicking on now. What she must be what mid forties maybe. Maybe yeah, something like that. But they're mm. fine wine, man. They did look yeah, no, really they did. good. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so it was yeah, like yeah, I watched it and enjoyed. Oops, yeah. I watched that and enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Mm. Serious, what what a bit of makeup and filters can do. Nah, shut <laughs> up. You know what I mean. The gallon, you know what I mean. The gallon can really. Mm. Nah, man. Even even Trina looked good, Trina looked good though, because they was before all that plastic surgery. Yeah, like yeah, that's course. they looked good before all yeah, of that. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Eve, you see Eve, yeah. And mm. she was never my cup of tea. Still, no. Really, <laughs> musically, yeah, standard. She's yeah. a gangster. Like, I rate yeah, her. Yeah. Gang, like as a G, I mm. rate her as a mm. G. But she was never my cup of like. Mm. I went. Food. I mm. weren't fooled because it's like if Eve weren't famous or not and then she yeah. walked past you wouldn't think yeah that's an illness I think you think well, I, you should have seen her with the she looked like really well, good yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like, no because obviously I said like come on like you know innit mm. it's like not like that yeah mm. I know everyone, everyone's gonna I'm gonna get murked for this probably oh. yeah but even like see Nicki Minaj like, nah, Nick is Chris. That's what I'm trying to say. But see me. Look, no, even, even he looked at you like, like nah, come on. But, no, but see me. Because I look at the pic before they were famous and all that. But Nick, he was pretty no, and gorgeous. I'm agree with you, blood. I, 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 no, I look I'm at just her now me. and I just I'm, think there's holy per surgery. I just think really. it's too yeah. much. Yeah, just, too much, man. Just, yeah. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If, I don't think like you're so much of a Mary's. Like if you weren't famous, that you, Nicki Minaj would be such a Mary's on the ends if she weren't famous. Sorry. Yeah, I agree. You get what I'm I agree, sorry, I agree. But I love Nicky. Don't I'm, make, I'm in the hood, innit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't make Kizzy hear you say that, boy. Huh? I said, don't make Kizzy hear you say that. 
Don't make kids hear me. But you get what I'm saying? My Nicki. baby mother's way iller than Nicki Minaj. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like not like that, but there's normal girl mm. out here that's just going work and doing normal mm, things. Mm, mm, mm. That's iller than them. It's because they're famous and yeah. rare. Do you get what I'm trying to say, fam? Mm. That's that's what's appealing. Mm. The star quality, the star factor. Do you get mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say? Because a lot of these, I swear that a lot of them, I look at them and I think. But obviously, I've always got girl or mm. whatever or. So I'm not a man that do you mm. get, I can see if you're a nice girl or mm-hmm. do you get what I'm trying to say like and I've seen um, famous even I know I'm gonna go mad but even ZZ but ZZ's cool but I'm saying like see like, how people go mad about ZZ uh. mm. ZZ's a normal girl man lad uh. do you get what I'm saying not like that but yeah, yeah, I hear you, you get what I'm saying but <coughs> it's because she's got because she's got famous now it's like yeah ZZ last yeah. try last try that do you get them, yeah. you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. but easy you know what I mean mm. black girl love that you get what I'm mm. saying but me a lot of the famous girl them I think alright cool mm. you know what I mean obviously there's couple that's just you know what I mean like Maya Jama there's couple like mm. you was pretty you're a pretty girl innit like even Steph Steph's cute she's pretty you get what I'm trying to say like there's couple girl but like some of them like Lowe you get what I'm saying don't piss me off innit you get what I'm saying don't wire me up and start, yeah, love shot eyes, look, I'm looking at it and thinking, nah, brother. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, we move. We move. Oh, I'm going mad. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we stop editing everything. So yeah, I'm going crazy, but God. <clears throat> big up Raheem Sterling. He just, he received the MBE. Mm. Uh, um, big up Raheem for scoring yeah. the other day. We'll get the MBE. Only because, um, like, he does works for, like, racial equality in mm. sport. So, mm. like, I rate that bit about him, like, you know. But you see, MB, who cares? You're better off getting a mobile. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're better off getting a mobile than an MB. <laughs> Wiley got an yeah. MB. Like, look, yeah, look, look how they dealt with MB. Wiley. Yeah. Look how they dealt with Wiley. Mm. And he's an MB. Mm. Like, you're taking him off Twitter and Instagram and all that. Mm. And he's an MB. Come on. Like, that's, like, what they get to, the, like... Fuck that MBE thing. Not like that. I know I'm going even mm. more mad. But MBE is like what they get to the liquor man. Them like yeah. save you. Like louder. I want an OB. I want something. Sir. You need to be calling me sir. Mm. Sir spray. Mm. <laughs> sir Leon. You know like if you're gonna call me. And if, you're, if you're gonna call me to see the queen. If the queen's gonna call me. I want to hear you calling me to call me sir. Mm. Don't call me to tell me. Give me a pat on the back car. Yeah. You done a bit in the urban music. Mm. Louder. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, Louder. I want to be called Sir. Do you get what I'm saying? My cousin's Sir Alex. friend bought her a title for her birthday. Mm. Yeah, on her 30th. So she's Lady Sai now. Mine yeah. is Lady She brought her a title, it, you know. Yeah, you can buy, your, yeah, you can yeah, buy the title like she's Lady Sai. Go on, Lady we, Sai. We, see, we, we got given <laughs> titles now in the Olympics, but it's, you know, it's not recognised. O-L-Y. Oli. You get me? Oh, oh for oh, real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can have on your passport and all that yeah. stuff. Oh, well, why? Do you use yours? No, uh, no. Uh, you don't. It's <laughs> enough. <laughs> You know that's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, 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 like when you got like when doctors got the MD. That's it. That thing. O L Y. Now you know what? I can't I, even hey, believe you've let that out. I've got it on Instagram. Though, still, <laughs> Dwayne <laughs> James is definitely still using it. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Chambers Wait. is using the old and white. <laughs> Deluxe told me. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting Deluxe involved now. He told me. Chambers is using the old and white when he's getting yard. No, what did do? Oh, okay, man. Now, do you know what, what yeah? You know, it is an edit thing, but do you know what? It's good for though, yeah? For what? The reason why it's good, yeah? What? To not get a pat down? No, 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 because you got nothing. <laughs> no, you're not going to go through the... Are you not going to go? Are you going to no, go no, 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 around no, no, the metal no, listen, detectors? Listen, you got enough people out there that are mm. claiming they've been to Olympics, bro. Oh, yeah. Right? oh I enough see. Enough of them. Allow it. Yeah. I can't oh, believe yeah. that's what happened. Cowboys, right? I can't believe that's the reason. No, 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 seriously. No, but I would use mine, though, differently. Jokes aside, I would use my one. Why not? Would you use yours? Yeah, I would. Would you use... M-U-S. I'm not Olympic. Yeah, what about I've M-U-S? Been... Huh? You've done music. M-U-S. <laughs> <laughs> or R-A-P. Uh. R-A-P. Like, yeah, boom, let me chew, man. Let me chew. R-A-P, man. Let me chew, man. No, but if I played <laughs> no, in the no, Olympics, no, okay, if no, I played no, in the no, no, Olympics okay, for my country, it's the, it's the better know I'm using mine, though. I would. I don't care. It's my it's my little accomplishment. No, but do you know what? All jokes aside, for that idiot thing about it, 
Or, on your document, see when yeah. you're presenting to someone, yeah? yeah. Make it make man, sense. Man can't Please. use that. You know what I'm it's, it's, mm. if, you, if you use that, it's like calling yourself a... The reason why you've got titles is like yeah. calling yourself a doctor, you're not a doctor, you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I go to like some institution or company mm. and they see that like, James's credentials, da 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 because see when the Olympics come up, bro, mm, mm, mm. you got enough people out there mm-hmm. that start going into companies and saying they're going to the Olympics or the Olympic mm. athletes Trying to get and getting the sponsors, sponsors bro. Yeah. And they're taking it, bro. Yeah, come on. See in 2012, BM- BMW were doing some thing for ambassadors for the Olympics, innit? Yeah. yeah? <clears throat> but they didn't know who had been to competitions and all that. So I've gone into my local dealership thinking, yeah, I'm probably going to be there, innit? I want a car. So I've, got, I've gone into the thing and they're like, yeah, no, no, we've given it away to John John Briggs. And I'm thinking, mm. what? Who's, mm-hmm. John Briggs? Who's that? You get me? <laughs> they're like, oh, it's our local Olympian. I'm like, mm-hmm. what? So people are just getting, I have to mm-hmm. rate them, innit? Mm-hmm. They're hustling, they're doing mm-hmm. their thing, but you're taking away from all the yeah, real yeah, people, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, it's a protected thing, but I yeah. ain't using it. <laughs> you might get, you know what I'm saying? It might mm. get you true still. Mm. But yeah, no, that one did. I need mm. I need my M U S on my thing, fam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need yeah, they need to let me go through. You get what I'm saying? Really, the most volume R T M Saturn on there. Mm-hmm. That was funny. But no, that was jokes. <laughs> that was jokes, James. You killed it because Dwayne Chambers has still got his. Hold on. Yeah. Um. What else is going on? Oh my gosh. Anything else going on, or are we just going to go into the main thing? Let's go into the main that now, isn't it? Outrageous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, boom, well, let's get into the main subject. Fathers, as it's Father's Day. Um, yeah, let's get into the main subject. So today we're going to be talking about fathers. Um, you know, like what makes a good father? Um, I've got a question that, like, can a woman raise a man? Because I, I don't think a woman can raise a man. Do you know what I mean? And that's um that's me going off for experience. <coughs> so not not for lack of not trying. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because my mum, come on, she was great. She was sturdy and all that, yeah. But a woman can't raise a man. That's that's off that's me personally, because like, even though my mum was a teacher, she was strict, she was like trying her best, I still ended up on Swallow in Feltham at age 16. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And I wasn't dumb, I wasn't, I was good in school, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, Mm. with um, education and all that, I was book smart and that. Mm. So it's like, but with a dad, it's like, see, even certain things, like, you're not gonna go to your mum for, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, see, like, when my my, my willies start to get hard and all that, I'm not gonna go to my mum and say, yo, mum, my willie's getting hard, you know. What's that about? Mm. I've got to just go and just learn that myself. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. I've got to learn that myself. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And I'm not going to go and say <coughs> to my mum or talk about Kial or... So you just end up going on the road, innit? Or chatting to your brethren about certain things. And I think the loss of fathers right now is like a lot of the reason why it's all mad out here because... Even like, see your bridging, the post, your bridge. I see you posted something and I think Farron posted it, Froggy. Yo, 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 what's good, my peeps? Everyone bless. I just would like to say, my son will not stab your son. The end. Please make sure you can say the same. Mm-hmm. Froggy, yeah. And he, he, he put a post in and he said, my son's not going to stab your, your son. son. I hope you can say the same. Yeah. The, the, mm. Say the same, mm. and it 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 rang a bell. Like it it, it resonated to me. Mm-hmm. I thought, raw. Mm. That's a dad. Mm. Yeah, that's a dad. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? Because he's with his, he's making sure you're not doing that. Mm. But how many youths haven't got him? Mm. It's not a case of mm. oh, can you say your son? Because it's like a lot of people can't say that <laughs> because they're not even around their youths. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But that's different. There's different reasons even for that as well. Like, And I think fathers get a, the, the bad end of the stick as well, <laughs> me mm. personally. Like, a lot of the times, obviously, sometimes you deserve it or whatever. Mm. But in a lot of cases, it's not the dad's fault. You get what I mean? You got, mm. so you got some girl that they don't even let the dad mm. see their youth. It's yeah. fair drama. It's a but, combination. Mm. And I would like, say, like, I don't think it's like I thank a God. lack of fathers. I think it's a lack of good fathers, let's have it right. Mm. Mm. Because there's some p- kids with fathers in the house and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Mm. Mm. My thing is, even though you said like a mum can't raise a child, like I do feel like 
you know, you need a man to show a man how to be a man, but he has to be the right man also. 100%. To show you how to be 100%. a man. Mm, Do you mm, get mm. Because there's mums out here on their own mm. that can't di- necessarily give you that, you know, certain man advice. Can't. You know, but the stuff that they have instilled in their boys... Mm. Make them yeah, yeah, yeah. good men. That's what I'm, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Understand because there's mm. certain natural, you know, mm. nourish. Um, what is it called? Nurturing things that we can, you know, like hundred percent. How to conduct you know yourself? Do you know, how know to what, be, you know what I mean? You know like what all I of actually, those kind of things. You know what? There's a lot of good men. Yeah. Yeah. Not like that. A lot of good men and good people in prison. I was with yeah. them. I'm sitting down mm. with them. Yeah. Good men. Mm. Good, lovely guys. Do you get what I'm trying? So I know. These guys had a deep, like, they didn't have a bad upbringing or Mm-mm. their mum didn't teach them madness. Mm. Lovely guys, but mm. they just ended up doing, yeah, making can, some mistakes, yeah, doing the wrong things. And like I said, like I said, yeah, like, I didn't clock it. Because as a kid, you don't care and it's like, all right, cool. Ain't got you, and I, I, you love your mum, so mm. you're always going to be with your mum or whatever, yeah. And it's like, even if they're arguing with like the dad, you're just going to be on your mom's side. But it's only as you get older, you realise that, hold on, okay, so maybe it weren't, daddy, dad weren't that bad. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because you realise you're getting into madness with girls, so mm. you clock in it, little things. But anyway, my whole point is like, you don't notice it or whatever, but there's a loss there. Do you get what I'm saying? There's a loss of a father figure. Definitely. And with a lot of these kids, because there's, cause there's a loss of a father figure, you subconsciously go looking for one. Yeah. Do you get yeah, what I'm trying to say? So yeah. <clears throat> no matter how mummy is or how good mummy, you're just a girl. Mm. You can't, you can't say, you can't even teach me certain things. I swear certain times, mm. yeah, like I had to be tough myself. I had mm-hmm. to teach mm. myself to be mm-hmm. tough. My mom couldn't, she didn't teach me that. Like my mom, her schoolings would be like, um, like, see if someone fucked with me, because she's a teacher. So you say, told the teacher. Yeah. Mm. It's my aunt yeah. that would tell me to do something back up. But mm. I weren't getting, that weren't, but you know, your dad would tell you, what? Man, he, like what he said. Mm. Mm. Man would say, what? Really? So you're not even, but obviously you got some mums that. Yeah, because like, you've got actually, girl mums yeah, yeah, and you've got yeah, boy mums. Yeah, yeah, I'm a yeah, bit of, of a boy yeah, mum. Like, but, you, get, you know what I yeah, mean? Like, they're but, more. But like I said, I bet Nathan never come and said to you, your mum, like my Willie, like he's mm. never come because mm. that's mm. dead. You're not coming to your mum mm, and talking mm, about it. But he's got a stepdad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he's got a father figure. Yeah, but he's got a father figure. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But some, and a lot of these kids, they ain't got a father figure, so they end up out on the street. street. And mm. that's why they're able to be groomed. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because they call it grooming yeah. now or whatever, yeah? So that's why they're able to end up up country. Mm. Because their father figure mm. is the guy giving them the grub. That's mm. making them make a little bit of money, mm. and where, 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 whoever they whoever they look up to on the road becomes their father figure. Do you get what I'm trying do to you say? Know what I mean, mm. and then and they're raising their self yeah. on the road with the rest that ain't got that. Because I've you gel together. I've it? had youths underneath me that man's dealing with them like your dad, fam. Mm. Don't piss me off, mm. and because it's like as even as a father now, yeah, mm. a star fuller, but as a father now. Like certain things that I've done or that I've had youths around me, or mm. I would mm. hate for my son to be mm. underneath me. Not like that, but let's have it right. You get certain things what you sent you son or whatever, or and you I can feel that. Fi- you can I wouldn't want to feel that someone's done that with my youth. Yeah, yeah. and you or can feel I- the energy coming yeah. off them as well. Like there's different types of guys. Like you see them <laughs> fall into certain roles. Like they're trying to get accepted or they'll go underneath somebody because they need that. You know, Mm -hmm. like it gives them that thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I noticed that you're saying about the guys, but girls without dads as well, it has a big impact as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fatherless Mm -hmm. with girls. Yeah, but you know, yeah. It's not, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know, innit? I'm a boy, innit? So what what do you want me to say? Oh, no, I thought you you meant like it wasn't as big. Yeah, because I don't know, innit? Because I'm just looking at it from experience and I've got my sister, innit? And mm. it's like she's done all right, mm. type of thing. She ain't, you know what I'm saying? She did, like me and her chat in it. So it's like, I don't know in it. I think they're cool with a mum. They, mo- it's, do you get what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying that. Do you get what I'm saying? As long as they got a mum, they're goody good. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's my whole thing. But with a boy. If they got a good, strong mum. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. But that's the same with, with everyone, with everything. Do you yeah, know because, but, but when you, have, you, when you don't dad, have a good dad mm, do you know or I mean? somebody. From a young age to kind of show you certain things from a dad, you go looking for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, with my daughter, like, her dad 
has showed her everything good from young. Mm-hmm. So her expectation when she's older is already going to be set a certain mm. way. Do you understand what I mean? Like, you know, like certain mm. things, because certain girls, they go looking for father figures within their their their, their partners, and mm. then it becomes like a lot of them get, um, end up in like controlling relationships and domestic relation, domestic violence relationships mm. and things like that. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So um, it's, it, it's for women and men and, and guys. Yeah, man. <coughs> no, just on Father's Day, I just want to big up the proper dads, man, and the fathers. But because yeah. I do actually think that men get a, a hard end of the barrel. <clears throat> oh, man said how a hard end of the barrel, but hard end of the stick, you know. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Because it's like, we get tired with the same brush, in it. You know what I mean? Type of thing. And it's like, oh, yeah, dads, single moms, and you know, like even a black man thing, like they just, and then they, they leave. But I think, you know what? A lot of you girl, a lot of girls need to take accountability as well. You know mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say? Because it's like, how did you end up with that single child? You know what I mean? How did you end up with that single child? Because if we look at even like religion or whatever, <clears throat> religion, we're taught to, um, you know, get married or mm. whatever. And then you like, so you like, it's like with, with my babe mother, mm-hmm. we was together. We wanted that child. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? We wanted that child. We didn't, we didn't trip over it. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? So, Girls have to take accountability as well. It's like you open up your legs or whatever. Mm. You do. You might have a one night stand or whatever. Mm. And then a lot of them like they just have the you or whatever. Mm. You get. And then now that guy is looking crazy because oh, it's a single mum and rare. But mm. you know what I'm trying to say. But to me, it's a bit nuts because see, like with the girls here, for instance, like see, like abortions and that. Yeah. Like. See, like how girls can have abortions, but you have sometimes, sometimes when girls get pregnant, yeah, you have boys that want their child, want mm. the child, they want to yeah, have yeah, you, yeah. but, they yeah. but to it's up to the girl. Yeah, mm. From the girl says abortion, it's gone. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. But the boy wanted the youth though. Mm. But no, it's it's my body, it's mm. gone. Do you get what mm. I'm saying? So now look at it on the other foot. What if the boy don't want, I don't want the youth. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? But now it's, it's down to you. Mm. That's mad. So why is it different for me? It's I don't want it. Do you get what I'm saying? But mm. now you want it and now you've had it. Be a single mum. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Not like that, but so why is he looking bad? Do you get what I'm trying mm. to say? Cause it's the same as giving a um, sperm donor, isn't it? Or some... some it depends yeah, on how people look no, at it. No, you know what it's I mean? Because these that's... days no one takes responsibility for anything. It's this tear yeah. down culture, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So like you said, you got, you got not saying attacking the women, but you mm-hmm. got the women that will open their legs, have mm-hmm. a baby and then tear down the father, right? Mm. Mm. But... You're not you're not pushing out anything positive, especially especially people that tear down the other parent to their child as well. Yes. You're not doing anything positive or good no. doing that. You're just creating this vicious cycle and it's gonna pass on. Yeah. And then what happens is the child grow up, grows up resenting the the, the other parent or, and it, and then, then they have youths and then the same thing happens again. Yeah. Do you, you know, know what, what I mean? it is? I just don't like the I just don't like the way girl the, girls are allowed to make a mistake, yeah. Okay, it's a mistake. It's gone, yeah. Mm. Stuff will I do with you city. Like that's not what we're on, but I'm saying like... Children are a blessing. Yeah, do you get what I'm trying to say? But it's like, I've made a mistake, it's gone. Mm. But the boy can't make a mistake. Oh, no, no, no. Do you get what I'm mm. trying to say? Mm. That can't, can't I make a mistake? We're, out here, we're all out here making mistakes, mm. you get what I'm saying? So, but yeah, but fathers... Yeah, but remember that women, are like majority of the time, like they have the child most of the time. Mm. Like if anything does happen, majority of the time, the child is going to be with the mum. Mm. Like majority, if it's a good majority. Well, that's what I said. Yeah, majority of, of the time, the biggest sacrifices comes from the woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Mm. You know, so you got to remember. It depends what you what yeah, you call like a sacrifice because you got women looking up. No, no, no. That's just what you, they're making the pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but I'm just saying, sweating if it's not that, like, depending on the situation, you, you remember, know what I'm yeah, saying. This is like, see, the times we live in, the times have evolved, didn't it? Like the environment mm. and the culture we're in. Is, always changing mm-hmm. but human beings we ain't evolved from thousands of years ago mm-hmm. so all these natural things yeah mm-hmm. like, it's in a man's I'm not saying I'm not giving man an excuse yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but it's in a man's nature mm-hmm. to let's say hunt and get yes, like, yes. forage you get me and, and, the the wi- mom, and the women are nurturing the baby exactly. you know what I mean so yeah. nowadays when this happens let's say you have a child with, with someone and she has the baby and he's mm-hmm. not around for whatever reason mm-hmm. right you need to understand like as a woman let me let me word it properly that shouldn't stop yeah, your nurturing we, yeah. that shouldn't yeah, that, yeah, 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 well, yeah. that, that shouldn't yeah. stop your nurturing no, stuff exactly. of what you, you want to do it, yeah because yeah. yeah and 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 you think like back in the day like see probably back in the day when mm. we're living in like tribes and like, in little forests and all mm-hmm. the rest of it yeah man not having babies 
and just probably cutting, mm. going to the next village and probably coming back, right? Mm. The village is raising up the children, isn't it? Because mm. they say it takes a, a village, a family to raise mm-hmm. up a child, isn't it, right? I know personally for me, like when, when I was a kid, obviously my dad went around for the first five mm-hmm. years, mm-hmm. but I used to go and stay with my grandparents, innit? Mm-hmm. My granddad raised me, innit? And then they went back to Jamaica when I was like seven, innit? Yeah. So I had that father figure. Yeah. So uh, the point I'm getting to is basically, yeah, you can't always tear down the bread yeah. because there's other people around you got a support network yeah. and it goes back to our nature man you got to, yeah. do you know what I mean there's it's, yeah. it's things in us that you can't deny mm-hmm. but it's confusing to us in the times we're living in yes mm. I agree yeah no it's just, it's, just, it's just mad don't get it twisted there's some madman out here as well you know what I'm saying yeah, of course Definitely. I've got a bridge he's got nine kids and he's yeah he's younger than me mm. you know what I mean but I know someone that's got 21 bro yeah yeah my dad had 14 yeah last time we counted but, um, <laughs> yeah, do you get what I'm saying? But no, nah, man, I just think it's just a bit biased to the gallium. I know cream just was mm. cool, but I just think it's mad biased to the gallium, though. Do but, you think so? Yeah, like even just everything. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like obviously you have to move with the times, mm. it? and you have to kind of adapt with the times, and like people pick and choose what parts they want to take from exactly. the back in the day yeah, yeah, and yeah. mix it with. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Now, yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. mm. um, but I just feel like, um, <clears throat> like you said, with our fatherhood, you know, like if you've got a structure, a man and a woman, and they're more structured, they have their children, they instill what they instill. Mm. It's like a trickle down effect. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was like a tweet one time, I think it was with Anthony Joshua, and it was about like, you know, like how you raise boys and girls. Mm. And everyone raises their daughters to be good women, you know, and stuff like that. Be good for your man and stuff, you know, be a good mm. mum. And you kind of encourage your boys, you know, to have, you know, be a bit of a gallus and mm. stuff like that. That, when you, if you look at that in hindsight, it doesn't work. Mm. That isn't going to create what we need to happen. Mm. Because if you're making a woman be that and a man be that, how is it going to create that? Yeah. So... A yeah, house divided it, it can't stand you. Your foundation yeah, needs to be proper. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So the same things what you're instilling to your daughter, you kind of need to instill that to your man. Otherwise, you're just going to have women out here submissive to men that ain't even... Do you understand? Mm-hmm. And if you do want to have that traditional thing, like the man is the leader of your household and et cetera, et cetera, he has to know how to lead. Mm, of course. So that mm-hmm. your yard can run right. That's why yeah, you've got yeah. all kinds of mixed energies in relationships where you've got women acting masculine mm. and men acting feminine mm. because they're not in their right roles. Mm. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. So we need to know what we're doing here when we're when we're when when you know what I'm saying, when yeah, you're yeah, growing yeah. up your kids. Mm. What do you think like makes a good father? Like, Consistency. Um morals, what you instill the lessons that you've taught them, making them feel safe. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Would you like think? the loving, you know what I mean? What do you think? Basically? Providing. Why? Many things, innit? Um, mm. like, how was your relationship with your dad getting back to you? Boy. Do you know what? Sometimes it was good. Mm. But so, if I'm being honest, it was... The, thing, the things that he showed me as a father, I mm. would show my son. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because as a father, I think you should always, you, you want to try and encourage your son or your, or your daughter mm. to be, to, to stay out of certain things. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which sounds mad, yeah, but I, I had an influence of badness. Yeah. But I was quite hard-headed, didn't it? Yeah? Mm. So I knew what I wanted to do. And because I'd seen stuff from young, things didn't really impress me. But yeah, there's certain, mm. there's certain things. It's almost like mm. you see, you see, you see. He said the parents, oh yeah, you want to raise your son to be a gal. Mm-hmm, said, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, go on, son. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There was an element of that when it comes to badness. Yeah. So when I got in trouble when I was twelve, the first time, one yeah, when I was twelve, right? It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, son. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, it was a brag thing. Mm-hmm. Whereas he, yeah, he might have done it with his bridges, but I shouldn't have seen that. Yeah. So I could have been like, ah, oh, mm. oh, cool man. That he great step. He's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so for me, sometimes I said to my bridging, one of my bridging, he's never met his dad, innit? Mm. I said, listen, I know, I know, I know you need a father in that. It'd be better if you had a father in the household, but you know, it's more damaging than having a dad in the household, uh, than not having a dad in the household. 
having a dad in the household that's yes. influencing you in a bad way. Bad way. Mm-hmm. I think so. I, mean? mm-hmm. I so. didn't grow up with my dad, but I love him to bits though. I don't yeah. know what it is about, even if they're not there, when you see them, mm. you can't stay mad at them. I don't know what that yeah, is. No, is. I yeah. love my dad, but my father role, my father figure, I grew up with my stepdad, mm. but my proper father figure, I would say, is definitely my granddad. Same, same. Because he was so consistent. Like, yeah, as long yeah. as I remember, as long as I can remember, they've had the same number, mm. they've been at the same house. If you go there at the same time, every single day they're around the table eating their dinner. Mm. Like, it was him that would get on the phone if there was anything. He was mm. the first one to, sh- like, he cooks, he does things, he helps my grand. Like, he's just lit. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, I'm going there to drop off. Mm. His little father's mm. day things yeah, after no. here, like we got, we got gramps, yeah, man, granddad. Yeah, granddad, you get me? It's mad because you see this generation now. I'll be honest with you, I'm quite proud of them as fathers because what I find a lot with his generation, I don't know um, how Reds was with his dad or whatever. Yeah, no, he's but got he, a good dad, but yeah, but he seems his mum and dad he, are married. He's a good dad. Yeah, but I'm saying, like for instance, see, like people like I don't know, like me that might mm. not have had a dad. Mm. A lot of them kind of, all right, cool. Now, I'm not leaving my youth. I'm mm. not leaving my son. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm. Thing. Mm. They're taking on, they're taking it on because they've actually, yeah. with, they, yeah. they realise what yeah. happens without that. You get what I'm saying? I don't know about the statistics, but like my bridges, all the man in my know, they cater for their youth. Of course. Yeah. Mm. You, know, you, say you don't want the next man sending out your youth and getting him doing madness, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Do you know what him. I noticed? I don't know if this is right or not, but what I've noticed as I've gotten older is People that have had grown up with their mum and dad, mm. like they didn't really go through that that thing of, you know, not having a dad there or a mum there. Mm. They're more comfortable growing up mm. with the... I can't explain it. Like, I know it's that a lot of friends that I have that come from single parent, mm. it's like as they get older, they're not, they're not content with just the norm. Mm. It's like they're still searching for something else, you know, like they're mm. more f- they're more hungry for something. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whereas the other ones, they're just more content with just yeah, their family, mm. go to work. They got yeah, enough yeah. to this and that's enough. Yeah, so in some ways, it, sometimes it might be a blessing, isn't it, for you, like in the future, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now, I think the fav- actual fathers have changed. Mm-hmm. You get know what I'm saying? Even mums have changed. Like mm. how, how our parents were. It's different to like the parents of today. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. So I think even fathers in general have changed. It's like you said, oh yeah, my dad, he was like a friend. Mm. He was more like a bit. A lot of dads at the moment, when their youths get older, it's more friendly. Mm. But it, it's with our generation, it's always been dad. Mm. You get what I'm saying? It's always been dad. Like, mm. them, you know what I mean? So more babies having babies, you know what I mean? But that plays a part as well, isn't it? Because my parents are young. My mum married me, she's 17. My dad was yeah, like 20, you get me? So. Just turning 17 as well. Yeah, we, I've got young parents. Yeah, yeah, so it just ends so up like Yeah, that. you grow up. So they grow up. Yeah, it's yeah, different yeah, yeah, yeah. because like if, yeah, you grow up, you grow with your parents. Mm. They're still growing at the same yeah. time. Mm. Like yeah. if they yeah, have, a, if you had a brother or sister that was like 10 years younger than you, mm. they'd have a complete different well, probably completely depiction of them. Yeah, I've got a sister, she's 12 years younger. but Yeah, so she's going to see different parents. Do you know what I mean? Like she ain't going to see that side. Of course. So that plays yeah. a big part yeah, it's as like, well. It's like, yeah, it's like my old, my oldest brother, he remembers my mum when she was mental, mental. Mm. Mm. You get what I'm saying? But by the time they get older or whatever, they, yeah, they, yeah. they pattern up their sort. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> they pattern up their sort. So giving exactly. out enough licks. <laughs> yeah, you get, you get the, yeah, yeah, the younger yeah, ones, they yeah, get the less The younger ones always get less licks. Yeah. You get my what I'm mom saying? tries to deny all that. I was like, listen, you yeah. said slap me up. Yeah, and they on. act like they don't she remember that. No, I don't, No, I didn't do that. Yeah, what? Will you come back? Yeah. Don't try it. Don't try it. She used to have road rage and that. Yeah, and I'm yeah. just sitting there thinking, raw. Mm-hmm. And now you butter yeah. with milk. Yeah, and I remind her. She's like, oh, you're you're talking rubbish. Yeah, I yeah. never yeah, forget right. when I went off on one. of I think it was Nathan or Tim. I can't remember which one of them it was. And I called my mom, thinking that my mom's gonna be going in with me, like you know, mm. on my side. She was like, yeah, I know, but what did he do? Yeah, but no. And I was like, who is this? This ain't you. Like, don't mm. you remember how you was with me? Like, you just used to... <laughs> you, do you know what I mean? You was on stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, as they get older, they calm down, innit? Yeah. We all do. But it's like... Yeah. Um, I think the loss of a father um, with a son, mm. I think it's, it's, 
I don't think a, a, a woman can raise a boy. No, that's that's just bringing. No, that, I agree. Bringing yeah. that to the end. You get me? I just mm. don't think. A woman no, I agree. I agree. Can raise a boy. You get me? I think she could try her hardest. My mom tried her hardest. Mm. You get me? But I don't think. You get me? Not with without them getting drawn out by a next possible father figure. You get what I'm saying? Mm, 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 mm. You know what I mean? But no, big up all the dads that's... So when you say, like, so what do you mean? Team. Like, you don't think, like, like in what way can't they be a man? Like, look at Lennox Lewis. I remember, I don't know if he had a stepdad, Lennox but Lewis. I remember he said his dad wasn't a part of his life. Like, he came in the picture late and mm. he said he didn't even want to, he didn't want to bother him no more because he came in once he got big and that, mm-hmm. famous. But he Lennox gives Lewis. all of his thing to his mum, like he accredits his mum to gr- mm. growing him up and Lennox stuff. Lennox from your ends, isn't it, Lucian? But he, he, remember, everyone thought he was gay for ages mm. as well. Oh, okay. Mm. I didn't know. Yeah, I've, oh, I've oh, is it? Oh, okay. Oh, so what? They, so so yeah. maybe he needed his dad still. <laughs> maybe he needed even. his dad still. Why did I even say that? <laughs> yeah, Why did I bother? Why did Lennox needed his dad still. You get me? To make him know that's mad, but... Nah... Um, I just think it's, 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 it's like I said, didn't it? Like I love my mom. Mm. Yeah, you know I'm saying to the death, but just certain things, innit? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. Certain things you ain't got mm. if you ain't got that. You get what I'm saying? Like you're gonna have to make your own way. You're gonna have to make your own way through the streets. You get you're what I'm saying? Find out the hard way yeah, do you get what I'm saying? You're gonna have to make. Remember, see with that, Jim. Gonna have to navigate a bit. Yeah, mm. navigate. Yeah, navigate. You, know <laughs> you can learn. You can learn. Like dads have got. Like I've made so much mistakes in it. I've made a million mistakes. I'm still making them. Mm. You know what I'm saying, and I will that continue to. Mm. You know what I'm saying, but because that's how life is. My life, better. anyway. But you, you can teach your your children not to make them mistakes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And what I find as I've grown is that. I'm my dad's son, innit? Mm. Like, from what I... Do you know what I'm saying? From what yeah, I hear or whatever. Same. I'm my dad's son. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you've allowed me to just make all your mistakes. mistakes mm. yeah. Because you're not a, around to, to teach tell, me, yeah. yo, 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 mm. that's mad. You're not there to tell me that's mad. So I'm mm. just making your mistake. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So so what would you say to the fathers, the absent fathers out there then? What would you say to them? What's your message to them? Do you know, like, I, I just think, just be a lot, just be froggy. Mm. Be froggy. Do you get what I'm saying? Just like you need to get onto your. your I'm, we're t- I'm talking about sons here. Yeah? Mm. Like and reds. I'm talking about sons here. So it's like with all what's going on out here, all the dads out here. I think you really need to get older, your sons, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And talk yeah. to them, and because they're still at that stage in it. They're not. It's not a. They're not lost causes. I don't look at these kids and think, oh, they're just lost causes because mm. they're out there, like. Kit slicing up And I know a few I'm not going to name any names But you need to Get hold of your sons Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say Like I don't think they lost causes I I just think They just need guidance Do you know what I mean Mm. They need Mm. guidance And they need um, You know They just need to be Steered in the right direction Do you know what I'm saying Because don't think Froggy's you Can't stab up your you Mm. Because he can Mm. But it's because Froggy's there yeah, instilling course. something mm-hmm. in his you yeah. to make him know that's mad because yeah, like, his son's with, in the same class with man, as Nave. Like, and you know man's on whatever man's being on madness mm. but I would never ever preach that, preach that to your, yeah. Yeah. because was, I've what? made them mistakes innit? Yeah. so I know what comes with that and I don't even want you to have to deal with what comes with that mm. you know what I'm trying to say so mm. I think it's, it's yeah I think it's it's very important yeah. do you know what I mean I and where is Father's Day I just want to you know what I mean make everyone Mm. Keep that in mind and yeah. look out for your youths, man. You know what I mean? Because oh, what's going on out here ain't nice. You know, mm. like it's not nice, man. How they how they moving? They're moving like like maniacs. Mm. Especially me, in especially in the times that we're in, because as you know, like you lot know what it was like in you lot's mm. day, and you know that now times is mm. even worse. Yeah, yeah, crazy. So with that being said, I wouldn't even sleep good at night knowing that I don't know what where my son is, or you know, like even though that I'm trying to, do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's and it never goes t- both ways. It goes you don't, both. You yeah. don't want your, you don't want your son getting stabbed, but you don't want your son stabbing someone and killing someone and getting yeah. thirty years. Mm. Because misplaced be, energy, you know anger I mean? and stuff like that create those type of things. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because young boys, when they're angry and they're pining for their dads and they're going through those type of emotions, nine times out of ten, they're not going to tell you what the real reason is. <clears throat> oh, I miss my dad or mm. say to their friends. 
because that's that's they're gonna feel vulnerable mm. and they lash out with you know like they get frustrated and then like they lash out in anger and stuff mm. like that. Do mm. you know what I mean? So yeah. Mm, no, but big up all the dads. That's yeah, really big up the good dads. You get yeah, what I'm saying really doing their thing, my dog Nathan Finley. You get what I'm saying always gonna be my inspiration. You get me when it comes to fatherhood. But um, yeah, man, no, oh, it's deep. You get what I'm trying to say? It's deep, but um. Nah, don't get it twisted. Mums are needed. You get what I'm saying? Mums are needed. Period. Of course. You get what I'm saying? When it comes to Period. I needed my mum. You get what I'm saying? You, you just wouldn't need... be here without mum. No, but I'm saying you just to learn that side yeah, of yeah. things. Because you see what? You still need, like you said in it, she instilled a lot mm. of mm. stuff that you need, that only women can maybe mm. instill in you because your dad. You get it's what I'm about saying? balance. It's and everything's balance. about balance. Yeah, balance. Like your mum with no balance. Of course. Then you're unbalanced. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like you yeah. said, the mum, the mum, my mum was... Get me, my dad didn't care about athletics and that. Mm. She mm. was the one run, running me up and down the yeah. country and keeping me in it. Yeah. Get me, but same same time you're saying about if someone's talk, talking shit to you and that, your mum say, oh, just tell the teacher. Mm. That's the time my mum would say, oh, you know if mean? someone hits you, just walk away. What? Mm. I could you know just what walk mean? away. Mm. But, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Big up That's auntie, not me. Big up but, Auntie yeah. Julie and married her. You get me? But big up auntie, all the mums, you know all the dads. Big up the auntie, Happy then. Father's Day. Mm. All the good dads. Yeah, now happy Father's Day to all the all the proper man them. You see me? But yeah, man. No, oh yeah. We are back in the place, so you don't know. Book suggestion. Every episode, I give them a book mm. to go and read. I know you must see by now. This one I've got is the Millionaire Mind by Thomas J. Stanley. PhD, man's got PhD next to his <laughs> name, you get me? Don't wind him up. Yeah, yeah. Proper style. letters though. Thomas J. Stanley, PhD. The Millionaire Mind, the groundbreaking New York Times bestseller that examines what makes a millionaire. Mm. What makes okay. a millionaire. Exploring the ideas, beliefs and behaviour that have enabled millionaires to build and maintain their fortunes. Thomas J. Stanley provides a fascinating look at America's financial elite for example what were their school days like how did they respond to negative criticism what are the characteristics of the millionaire spouse you know what i mean mm -hmm. like <laughs> is religion an important part of their lives the author uncovers surprising answers showing readers just what it is that makes the wealthy prosper while others feel dejected or beaten by life mm. the millionaire mind delves deep into the minds of America's wealthy and answers the universal questions with solid statistical evidence in an approachable anecdotal style. Readers with an entrepreneurial turn of mind will devour the millionaire mind because it provides roadmaps on how millionaires found their riches. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that sounds you like know a good what? read. My brother, rest in peace, um, Jay, mm -hmm. my first millionaire bridging off the road, he always just said to me, he said, you know what, Leon, he said, you're a millionaire, you know. Mm. Mm. You just don't know it. Mm. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to know it now. I noticed that they said about your spouse. I'm just going to, yeah, that's very important. But behind every good man, they say, is a good woman. And behind so every good behind, woman. Yeah, behind, yeah. He's a blood cut youngster. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. My G, I saved that for you still. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. Need it in this weather now still. I saved that for you, man. Raining hard. Respect, man. Love. Yeah, my man. Thanks good. for coming on. No, Definitely. thank you. I'm more proud of you as well. My G, my G, don't leave me hanging, though. Some little... Uh, I know you never come empty handed, oh, do you? Yeah. Saturn, healthy snacks. I know you've got the munchies now as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> That looks like something for cream still. Come like. on. Oh, wow. Be rid of them. Where you get Let this them from? Let them see. Yeah, what are they? Sponsor. They're, 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 they're fueling the season. Mm. Yeah, no, nah, I think this is for red still. <laughs> yeah, you love that as well. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely going to have one of those. Thank you. Yeah. Now, nah, respect for that, my brother. Yeah. Cool. And um, I just want to say thanks to everyone. Oh, I've got your um, face mask yeah, as well. Nice one. Need that as well. I know Dubai, I know they, they love the, the face mask thing. They're yeah. on it hard. Yeah, I needed one as well. You get what I'm saying? Nice. But yeah, um, no, I just want to thank everyone, you know, for the support. Thanks for still being here. Hit up the um, Cash App as well and the um, PayPal, please. I don't like to mention it straight away, obviously, because I want 
don't want to move like rare, rare. But imagine someone sent um someone sent a pound the other day, mm. and he was like, oh yeah, he loved the show, rare, rare. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's only a pound. But I don't think that. No. You know what I'm trying to say yeah. like mm. every little helps. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say and pick you up. If all them views were a pound, mate, exactly. Trust, <laughs> trust me. me. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. Mm. So mm-hmm. no, big up for people supporting and all that. Um, thanks for the comments. I'm gonna start reading the comments again and. We started a new thing. Make sure you follow the page at RTM Podcast Show on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But basically, we started going live now. Yeah. You've probably seen. And by our now. dilemma. Yeah, no, we're going to. Oh, yeah, shit, dilemma time. I forgot. Yeah, yeah but boom. Anyway, so we started going live now. We're going to go back to dilemma time. Still. <laughs> yeah, remember, I'm rusty, you yeah, know? Yeah, I'm rusty. <laughs> but yeah. I'm rusty. Yeah, so boom. You see, I was going to leave that. But anyway. And she's going to die. So boom, thanks for um all the comments and whatnot. And um, subscribe to the channel. We've started a live now where I go live, Cream goes live on the Instagram. And we, you know, we have little RTM convos and all that. Then we post it on the page just to keep, you know, like just some behind the scenes um, content or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, dilemma time. Yeah, let cream. me read it. My phone's actually going to die. So basically, it's a lady this time, yeah. And um, she said, I have rec- I have just recently broke up with my boyfriend, my man, of two and a half years. And he says he wants all the gifts that he bought me, he bought for me, including my ring. But it's not an engagement ring. My friends say I shouldn't give back nothing as a gift is a gift. Shall I return them? Yes or no? Keep them, man. Keep them, innit? Yeah, man. Come on, that's... that's... Yeah. As a brother as well, come on. Just got them, innit? I feel like he's still carrying feelings. That's something that's carrying feelings, dude. Do you know what I mean? Just go, just go. Obviously, he's still carrying feelings, but just go and pawn that, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sell it, yeah, but don't give it back, man. Yeah. Any real brother ain't going to say ask for gifts back anyway. Yeah, like, who's going to do that? He, he's he's just he's mate, salty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah proper salty. <laughs> you know what I mean? You salty, that's something. Give my things back. But it's like, how long were they together? She said two and a half years. Okay, okay, two and a half years. Yeah, no, nah, he's going mad. He was doing the most for the two and a half years. Mm. He's going mad, you get me? Just, just left that, man. Just make her go on, you get me? Well, I agree with your mates. Gifts should be gifts. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. You keep that shit. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, um, like, what do you think, though? Like, if it was an engagement ring, you know, like an engagement ring, say you spent, like, thousands and thousands of pounds on an engagement ring, yeah, scenario... Mm. And obviously, an engagement ring mm. represents it, you, you both. Of course. Mm. Yeah. If you now break up and that engagement is off, you are no longer together. Mm. Should she still have that ring that you've spent thousands of pounds on? Yes or no? Yes. You know what it is? But you think that's, so? That's me. Wedding ring, maybe, yes, because no, no, you've no, already done, you've you know already been married, but engagement, Do you, you know think? what it is? Yeah. Do you know what it is? You've given it that. Yeah. Thing. So when you gave it, when yeah. you thought, yeah, this is the one. Mm. Yeah. Slap yourself in the face. Just look in the mirror and slap yourself in the face, but don't ask for it back. Mm, no, 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 no. You get what I'm trying to say? Because you're killing yourself. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? Because why did you give it? You thought you was going to be, this was your wife. You're, you're better off saying, hold that, mm. you idiot. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And getting a new thing mm. for something else. Like, what are you doing? You get what I'm saying? You can't mm. overkill yourself. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? But there's a saying anyway. Like, if you're that salty, yeah. go and buy her another one, a more expensive one. Yeah. And see if it patterns you. Yeah. I don't like <laughs> all it. I don't like guys that are like that though, that wanna take back stuff, no. you know. Like there's a saying as well, they say don't eat from people that will brag about feeding you. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Like I don't like that. It's not a gift then that way. You're holding it over me. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. But um, you know Kevin Hart, mm. on one of his comedy shows, he said that when he broke up with his girl, yeah, to be petty, he took all the earring backs off of her. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like even with her earring backs, you know, just to annoy her, but yeah. Yeah, Kevin not so much. He's a complete lunatic. You get me? Do you get me? Some but people no, take everything, you know. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that, that's a simple dilemma, man. Mm. Should I give it back? I'm just like... No, but maybe for her, like, peace of mind, she might yeah, be getting on a nerve. She might just think, I yeah, yeah. I should just give him this stuff. Yeah, just no, but like, I'm looking at if, but, if it was even my sister asking me that, I'd say, yeah. you stupid. No, I would have yeah. said kept it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm thinking, why would you give it back? Mm. A man's giving you something. Why would you give it back? And it costs P as well. Give mm. it to me if you want to give it back. You get me? <laughs> yeah, like, and it, 
<laughs> no, but not like that. But you just got to you got to call that a loss, bro. Mm. Bro, bro, you get me. And then what's he gonna do with the gifts? Come on, they're gonna be girly shit as well. Like, what mm. you gonna do with them? Yeah, he's just, do you know what I mean? He's just, he's just, he's just he's he's fucked the, he's out annoyed. on him. He's annoyed. She's fucked out on him. She I must have done something. She did. Just so, yeah, he's so he. Asking back for gifts. That's mad. Yeah. So that was the dilemma. Yeah, well, thanks for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, my brother, good to see you, man. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Um, we'll be back over yes. to the playground very soon. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks for all the comments. Um, thanks for rocking with us. We're back mm-hmm. in the place. I tried to get my poster on the wall, but this E, that sponge thing, but yeah, I'm going to try and sort out something. But yeah, join us on the live. You're mm-hmm. done now. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Follow the Queen Ice Cream. Post the girl on Instagram, Queen Ice Cream TV on YouTube. Follow me at big underscore bad underscore spray on Instagram. Follow the um, podcast page at RTM Podcast Show. Mm -hmm. Follow the clothing at RTM Clothing Original. Check out the website www.realadamost.com. Follow my brother, Jimmy O's. Jimmy O's. Mm-hmm. On the Instagram, thanks for coming through.